Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a very special Cthulhu Thursday, <laughs> right. uh, which is one of my favorite days of the week when we get to play Arkham on a Thursday. It's a very special day. Normally, we've been since since really quarantine slash isolation back in April, March. I don't remember anymore. We've been streaming Arkham every week on it's Fridays, and we I, I started calling it Freaky Friday, which was fun. And uh, we've done it on Thursday once before because stuff came up, uh, and it's hard to, to miss Arkham. But we're here today on Thursday, and we're playing. I told you it's going to be weird. At eleven, we normally go live at one. So I'm gonna get out, and I'm gonna think it's five or six o'clock. You'll but it's have really it, gonna you'll be have two hours to the, be so productive. My whole life will be before <laughs> me still. Uh, but yeah, this is a very special stream because this is the uh, the start of a, a pretty cool event. Yeah. So Far From Con 2020. That's what this uh, we're a part of here, joined by a ton of other content creators doing great work. Hats off to Mythos Busters for having us for putting this on. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a ton of fun. So all throughout today. And all through the weekend, there's going to be events happening. You should absolutely check out the website. Uh, check out the, uh, the registration. Get registered. That'll let you see all of the replays from everything that's going on on all the different uh, channels and content creators that are participating. And you'll get to see the schedule and kind of build your own idea of what you might want to participate in. So check that out. Uh, head on over. Support those guys in this effort. What an uh, incredible... Effort, honestly. So Mythos Busters, a, a great podcast for Arkham if you're unfamiliar, but there's a whole lineup of content creators around this game. And I'm a huge fan. Obviously, we create a, a fair amount of it, but community-driven content, I think, a lot of times is the heartbeat of these communities. And that is definitely the case for Arkham, checking out the discords and the various communities going on for this game. So Yeah, hop on the Discord, too. Hop on the Discord. There's a, there's a Discord floating around. And, and Mythos Busters, if you're in there, if somebody's in there, feel free to drop a link uh, wherever we can actually join up on that Discord, like the invite link or whatever. It'd be very helpful to have one on uh, YouTube and Twitch especially. Uh, so right now, there's awesome things already going on. So right now, there's a Northern Lights over Arkham is doing a COVID mask scenario that everybody's getting to play. Instead of the pallet mask, that's hilarious. Table, on Tabletop Simulator, so people mm. can join up and, and do that. So that's happening right now. So if you're doing that in the background, or if we're in the background, hey, hope you're having a great time with that. And then everybody else, if you're just here to watch and see uh, Norman and Zoe take a quick vacation on a cruise ship, because the train was a little bit hectic. I feel like it was a little bit chaotic on the Essex County. I think now we just need a nice vacation on a cruise ship. That's what I'm thinking. And everything's going to be fine. Uh, yeah, just a, no consternation to be found. Just hanging for out. For sure. Uh, consternation <laughs> is the name of the ship, I think, that I have a ticket for. Uh, Constellation but, is the name of the ship. Consternation is what we're not going to face I've been, today. I've been flipping it. <laughs> I've been calling it the consternation. Uh, so well, the social, maybe it will be. The social this. posts are hilarious <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Who's doing those oh, anyway? Oh man, it's a me. <laughs> um, but if you're unfamiliar, we've been playing the Return to Dunwich Horror campaign, and last week we did the Essex County Express, and it was one of the most ludicrous, crazy experience, tabletop experiences I've ever had. Yeah. Uh, in Only reflecting Arkham on it this weekend, this past weekend, I was just like, it was crazy. Uh, but you know, I'm for a little bit of context, I'm playing Zoe Samaras, and I, I had previously played Joe Diamond, and then before that, Tony Morgan. And they were both very big, heavy testing decks. So I liked her because she gains money when she engages, and then there were a whole bunch of cards in Guardian that could just do direct damage. Yeah, and the cross, too. So yeah, and, cross and I was like, I just want to try to see if I can play a deck that doesn't really test a lot. Um, and, and it's actually gone surprisingly well. It's gone really well. You just put mono a mono in the deck, too, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready to roll on this cruise ship. Uh, it's called the Constellation, I, uh, apparently. Uh, also, Norman, so anyone who's not been following along, this Norman deck, uh, it started out as an open gate deck. Uh, and like all great open gate decks, it quickly became not that. Uh, <laughs> I almost <laughs> choked on my copy I mean, there. the card on its face looks perfect for Norman Withers, right? It's going to flip on the top of your deck. It's free for him. It's fast. You don't ever have to spend an action or money on it, so maybe that'll make it okay. Uh, but it did not, in fact, do that. So, uh, <laughs> the did narrator kind of a, <laughs> says, it did not. <laughs> did kind of a full rebuild uh, and then uh, is much better now. And uh, some of the main, I think probably the most critical things that's going on here, we got two premonitions, two withers, uh, and then we're upgrading into like time warp. And I just put in a level three emergency cache. So to keep those fingerprint kits going. So it's a pretty standardly good Norman Withers deck at this point, And I've been having a great time with it. Old man it's Withers. It's a lot of fun. Norman's a lot of fun. 
Uh, we, yeah, we did, you guys are noticing the board. So this is a prototype of an Undone inspired board that's coming up. You want to flip uh, to the top down? It's been really exciting to actually work on this. This is one of my favorite uh, properties. And then it's got like the, um, it's got the tarot theme going on. You can see it when the light catches it really well here. We'll work on some, uh, some of the refining techniques. But you can see the, the kind of tarot inspired stuff. Jonathan did a absolutely phenomenal job on the design of this one. It's nice to have kind of a silvery uh, uh, color in the spectrum of the boards that we're offering, especially because this is all about the spectral uh, mists and the spectral stuff. So we wanted to try to recreate that spectral effect in the medium itself. And it's nice because we haven't had a, it's kind of got a bluish tint. So we don't have a, we had like the Regatten Age style, which was green. Uh, the Dunn, which was classic. We also did this, the Carcosa one. This is my favorite so far. Yeah. It's like got a gold. It's got the old. Dark. It's like a dark gold. It's dark gold. It doesn't show up on camera. And it's like a little, it's too. a little, uh, and it's also got a little bit of mystery about it, just like that Carcosa campaign does. It's like you look at it one time and it looks a little different. The next time it's got that hidden face in it that some people have caught on to, he's some a, people have not. You know, he's it's already here. It's beautiful. Yeah, right. He's somewhere. He's always been here. So uh, let's go ahead and draw our opening hands. Let's get that started. And then it's important actually in this one. So uh, I noticed we're playing Consternation on the Constellation. Let's pull up the uh, the credits now that we're in the, in the zoom out mode. Let's see who was in charge of this thing. I, I don't think, who ultimately I, yeah, I was going to say, we, we didn't mention. So this is a, a fan made scenario that uh, is, is apparently incredible. Apparently it's incredible. We'll find out. So we've got. Mythos Busters, you guys are killing it on this. Uh, and then worth noting, uh, Nicholas Corey, I believe, also was involved in the murder at the Excelsior Hotel, which we had a great time with as well. So all of the people here, you guys did an amazing job with this. I see uh, members of our board, special thanks. Chris Hodevec, notable here in uh, Tulsa. Uh, one of the, the best community members And sent possible. us this book. So Chris, you're just doing so much work for the game. Thank you so much. And everybody on this card, everybody out there watching, everybody who's participating, this weekend, uh, it's because of everybody that this game has been so successful, and it deserves every piece of its success because it is truly phenomenal. Uh, if our experience with it over the course of the last few months has been any indicator for anybody watching, game is great, truly great. Now, it's important to note, so we talked about this before. Do you draw your opening hands first? Do you do the thing? Technically, you have your opening hand and everything first before you set up the scenario, which is important because this order enforcer is actually going to spawn immediately in the cargo room during setup. Mm. So I'm gonna go and draw my opening hand. Pretend you don't know that in I, case there are I cards that would, you know, that you would hold or not hold. Uh, we have a long-standing tradition of uh, showing our opening hands and talking about them so chat can have a good time. Dude, this is a perfect hand. Woo! So I, I have stick to the plan. Uh, it's one of the three experience stick to the plan that I have. Let's you have basically start the game with three tactics or supplies over in kind of a sideboard, and one of the best cards in the game, IMO, in my humble opinion. I think I'm probably a good <laughs> 150 hours into Arkham at this point. I I, I have you are amateur uh, opinions. Um, <laughs> I can have opinions. Right? I can have opinions, man. I, well, for the first long time it was like ah, someone new, and then someone pointed out it's like you've I've been playing Arkham for three years, but you've played more than me so far. So like. How does that work? <laughs> Anyways, one XP, ever vigilant. Uh, this card's crazy. A zero cost, single action, lets me play up to three assets at minus one. And I drew three assets. Uh, and at minus one, the, do the guard dog would <laughs> cost, cost me three. two. <laughs> Zoe's cross is free. And the survival knife cost me one. So I still have two left. Um, now, That's ridiculous. I don't even know what else I would want. Yeah. Um, this calling in favors is, it's a, it's, it's so good with Guard Dog. It really is. And having it early is particularly good. So I'll have the resources to pay for it if I really want it. And then evidence is fine. I, I'm, I don't need anything else, right? Mm -hmm. I, there's nothing I'm thinking about where it's like, I need that card. So I'm not even sure I should mulligan it. Uh, Arkham's got the best mulligan in tabletop. So uh, it'll like, come back later. What, what, I, what I really don't want, though, is to like hit another ally. Yeah, yeah. And You're, reduce the allies in my deck. Hold on to evidence, right? I mean, you can't hate evidence. That's a fine. So we're just gonna hold my hand. That's that's fortunate. That's very fine. What did you get? Uh, meantime, Norman? so I've got uh, Mr. Rook. You always love to see Mr. Rook, obviously. Seeker, etc. Uh, stargazing is too flavorful for me to not hold in my hand. So I'm gonna actually probably do that like first thing, just because, of course. Uh, time warp. I really want to see this card flip on the top of my deck when I'm playing Norman Withers, but also. I, having it in hand, a one cost to reverse any action that just took place at my, like that's such an incredible amount of insurance. 
My, my only concern is I could be carrying this with me for a good many turns before it becomes like the moment. So do I want to maybe try to get a fingerprint kit instead of holding on to that time warp? I just convinced myself that I did. We also have <laughs> Working a Hunch, similar. So these are cards that are really designed to be flipped on the top of Norman Withers' deck. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it do that and then split the angle. Not terribly important to my overall strategy. I'm not doing any of the like uh, scrying stuff with this card. So I'm just going to send it on its way as well. So I'm going to hold these two. A little bit of flavor and but a little like bit stargazing. of good. I like stargazing too. Oh, I love it. There's a wither. After last game, I feel Double like... Double Mr. Rook, not ideal. Emergency cash could be very nice. I feel like after last game, uh, Stargazing is going to have a permanent... It's like Backpack. It like, I had really a good Backpack had experience backpack early time. on, and then it was just like, okay, now this this is a great card. Apparently an upgraded Backpack coming at some point in the future, which I'm excited about. <laughs> <laughs> you know that upgraded Backpack is going to get so much play on this stream. All the play. Yeah, kind of like, so uh, I'm, as you saw in my opening hand, I have uh, Survival Knife, and that's coming in the F Return of Forgotten Age box yep. ne next week. So I'm super pumped. I've been trying to delay even this scenario, like pushing out how long this campaign's going, because I feel like that upgraded Survival Knife is perfect for Zoe. All right, so this is all done. Cage McClure asking, do either of you guys have charisma? <laughs> I, I like to think so. <laughs> I do. I, yeah, I, I upgraded to charisma. You'd be surprised at how little charisma we have. It's been 13 years of carving it out of a, a cold, dead rock. <laughs> Trying to fool everybody. Look at Norman in this board, though. Mm. Hanging out. You look like you've been somewhere. OK, so I've got one physical trauma per our uh, previous uh, scenarios Same. And campaign. You also do. Really should have had more. Let's see if the campaign log tells us anything adequate. The Tome. <laughs> 3 XP saved. Uh, so I spent my 3 XP from last time on the emergency cash. Uh, you put two mono a mono in and a uh, five cost will guy. Uh, yep. Brother Xavier. Brother Xavier. Xavier himself. So that's good, man. You're going to call in favors to Brother Xavier. That's what I'm talking it. about. B Chris, watch for the content. Come back for the puns. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and speaking of the content, real quick, let me run this down for a second because you guys really need to, to see this. So at uh, 11 a.m., Whisper in Darkness doing an RPG remix, I haven't even fully appreciated what that is. So that's like right now. So if you want to go check that out, check that out currently. At 2.30 p.m., there's a panel with Ian Martin and Nicholas Corey. Uh, nice. At 2.30, there's a Mythos Buster putting that on about scenario design, game design. Very so cool. we're literally playing a scenario that is designed by uh, some of those folks, if not all of those folks. I think well, everybody's involved in that. There's a custom scenario called Silent Hill at 2.30 p.m. as well. Uh, and then there's an adversarial draft at 4. What is that? Register, find out, you know? Go check it out. Then we got a Forgotten Age campaign deep dive from Optimal Play. They've been doing great work nice. on their channel. That's at 5.30 p.m. We've got a live recording at 8 p.m. Miskatonic University Radio. Great stuff there. And then moving on to all sorts of things tomorrow and then all throughout the it's weekend. A, it's a jam-packed schedule. Check it out. Let's give all the support that we can Nick, in this time. Nick Murphy saying, are these your favorite investigators? So I'm so, I get so attached. I I've, get so attached to all of them. I've loved every investigator that I've played so far. And I, I've, so I've played Joe Diamond, Tony Morgan, Zoe, and then I played... Um, the yeah, young, that was a weird one. The, the violinist. Cop. Oh, also. Patrice? Patrice, yeah, you played Patrice. That was a weird one. That was just a weird campaign. And you played Tommy Muldoon, too. Tommy, but it, that was the Excelsior. Which yes. Is, that was an incredible scenario. The one which, shot, wh yeah. Who was it that worked on this that also worked on that? Wasn't it one of the people that did this scenario? Yes, yeah, Nick Corey did. Yeah. yeah. Which, that was one of my favorite scenarios so far. And they all, there was also that, you remember that video of him and Matt Newman? <laughs> and we were like, oh, no, this could be really campy and, and bad. It, it and it was bad. And it was phenomenal. Yeah, it was good. They actually did a great job. Okay, so here's what's going on. So again, this is called Consternation on the Constellation. This is a custom scenario designed by Mythos Busters. You can find it on their website. Uh, print it out for yourself and play it just like we're doing here. It requires no outside cards from Corset, etc. cetera. Uh, so a true standalone. And I'm going to give you a little uh, intro to it before we officially set it up. Yes. It says, Bring get your in. ticket now for a cruise on the high seas aboard the Constellation, a state-of-the-art ocean liner. Or as Zach says, the consternation. Dude, I, I can't what, tell you how, how much I love that I got that wrong. <laughs> what begins as an investigation at sea takes a terrifying turn when a group of fanatical cultists seize control of the ship. I was consternation looking for a on the constellation. Can a group of investigators stop the cult's plans before something unspeakable is called from the deep? Okay. 
we replace the bag with the proper bag things. You know, the uh, there's some like psychological test that uh, was marshmallow going test. Where it was basically like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to say a word, tell me how you feel, and it's like the ocean, and it's like either that's exciting or terrifying to people, or right. calming or terrifying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you ever do that? Uh, I, I haven't really soloed it myself. No, <laughs> <laughs> just sat in a room and thought of things that I liked or didn't like. Uh, I mean, I do a lot of that normally. The, does, I the, suppose. does the does the does the insanity of really the ocean and how the depth and like how just crazy expansive it is is that like unnerving to no, you it's super or is exciting. it yeah, yeah, okay, it's cool. a sense of liberation freedom uh yeah. the unknown exploring that kind of stuff same way i feel about space i would yeah, uh, exactly. sign me up tomorrow Absolutely. i'll go i keep telling my wife that i'll be in the second wave of, of c civilians going to space i'm sure she's thrilled yeah don't be in the first but i'll be in the second all right, so one of the things, the only thing I haven't done here, I've done the creative goods and all the, set the uh, locations aside. So it says, search the gathered and counter sets for a copy of Order Enforcer, spawn it at cargo room. So it's going to immediately engage somebody. I hope it's you. And then shuffle the rest of the cards to build the encounter deck, which I have done. It's over there. You can see it there. Yep. And then we have the intro. Welcome aboard. Join me on the other <laughs> side of the sea. All your questions will find answers beyond the deep. You stare one more time at the cryptic note that sits on your table alongside a brand new set of first class tickets offering passage aboard the SS Constellation. Every time it's funny now. <laughs> SS Consternation. <laughs> a luxury ocean liner sailing from Boston to London in a few days' time. The unmarked envelope had arrived just yesterday, promising a welcome solution to a vexing affair. In the past few weeks, several collections of esoteric artifacts in Arkham have been ransacked culminating in the murder of an employee of the Miskatonic Historical Society. I've Luckily, been there. we saved the Necronomicon, so that one was not ransacked. Uh, with the, it's in my deck, too. Your contacts have informed you that similar burglaries have taken place in Boston, Innsmouth, and New York. Courtesy of chat, somebody told me how to pronounce Innsmouth incorrectly, which was Innsmouth. Innsmouth. It's the right way to do it. Innsmouth. It sounds right. It sounds like the way that you should say it. Uh, so, strangely, nothing's been reported missing at Jetta except for a few records and books. What could these people be looking for? You have a growing fear that it's something dastardly indeed. With leads running dry, hopping aboard an ocean liner in response to a note from an unknown cinder seems only one step above a wild goose chase, but it's the best chance you may get. With that in mind, you grab the tickets and head out the door. Done. Zach, can you hit me with the uh, agenda? I'll read it to you. Agenda 1A. Captured, you were awoken from your slumber by screams in the night, only to find that the ship had been taken by hooded figures. You now find yourself trapped in a dank corner of the cargo room, guarded by a member of the cult. This particular brute stands near, nearly six and a half feet tall and watches you with wary eyes. Each copy of Order Enforcer... Yep. Aloof. ...gets plus one health for each investigator... Okay. ...and gains aloof and elite. That makes sense. Investigators cannot play or put into play item assets including item weaknesses, or leave cargo room. Oh. To doom. So we just have to stay here forever, huh? Act 1A. Think fast. <laughs> you need to find a way out of this predicament before the cultists decide upon a more permanent solution for you. Order Enforcer gains action, parlay, test three book, to trick the big lug. If you succeed, an investigator location may place one of his or her clues on him. If there are one clue per investigator on Order Enforcer, discard him. Objective, if there are no enemies in play, advance. So it seems like we have the classic Arkham question, right? So I'm going to go ahead and flip uh, Cargo Room here. So it has two clues on it. It says uh, we have an action on Cargo Room here. It says uh, test book zero. Search the top X cards for an item. Add it to your hand. X is the amount you succeed by. So we can find items in the Cargo Room from our deck, but we can't play them until the Enforcer is gone. Uh, and the Enforcer currently has four health. And then uh, if it attacks us, we have to discard an item. Uh, we can discard an item to reduce the damage by one. So the ideal scenario would be if you could snipe both clues in a single action, parlay twice to get two clues on them and get them off the table. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Now you could also, uh, what could you do? You could, play, uh, you could play out your stack of death and then... Uh, I can't play items. Engage him. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to have to be doing this too until we So I'm going to talk to this it. guy? Uh, quick, a few questions real quick. Ian says, uh, do you have any recommended printing services for custom scenarios? Would you ever consider adding community scenarios to your subscription service? So there's a whole bunch of like legal issues with that. 
Uh, the moment you start making money off of a fan-made scenario that is using all of this stuff, uh, it, it crosses a whole lot of barriers. So I think they have the digital files on their website that you can print. And if you can find somewhere that's willing to print them, uh, that's all, all question marks and gray space <laughs> for me. Uh, this was sent to us by, I think, Mythos Busters sent it over. Uh, but I, you know, you could pretty easily in card sleeves and stuff print this out pretty high quality and cut it up and stuff and whatnot. Norm is actually perfectly suited for this. Isn't that strange? And then Keith was asking about when Return to Forgotten Ages is coming out. He's got a subscription through our subscription service to everything. Uh, release date's next Friday. So if you're in the U.S., if you're a subscriber, you should have already been charged. You'll get tracking. You'll start updating next week, and you should have it about about the time of release. All right, let's see what Norman's top card's going to be here. Oh, you get a you get a reveal. That's right. Who's going to be lead investigator? Is it you? It's always you. I like. <laughs> is it feel you? Feel safe. Yeah, it'll be me. All right, no stone unturned on the top. So right. at one cost, somebody can go search the top six for anything. Now I can't play items. My double clue gathering is is basically through the uh, the fingerprint kits. So I don't have deduction or anything that would help me there. Now what I can do is I can just the hard way grab two clues, uh, and then next action, like next turn, come back in and, and discard the order enforcer. Presumably I can hit two, three uh, <clears throat> skill tests. Now we do know there's a minus six, a minus five, and minus the fours in the bag. The bag too. got wild. The bag is weird. Yeah, the, the ocean liner is not. Not happy that we're here. I mean, I think the problem I have right now is that to get the clue, you have to pass the three test. To, to parlay, you have to pass the three test. So even if I was able to, like, just take a shot at getting a clue, yeah. it, might, it might be a problem eventually that I couldn't actually get the clue on him. Well, it says anyone at our location, I think. Uh, yeah, anyone at the location can place a clue. So, so even if I parlay him, you can place the clue. Does that make sense? Whoever, as long as we got two clues between us in this cargo room, if that test is successful, we can drop them. Oh, okay, okay. So we just have to get them. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it would make sense uh, for me to try to go first. You could also engage him, and we could just start slapping. He's aloof, right? I can't do that? You can. You can choose to optionally engage him, yeah. Oh, really? Mm hmm But then you can't play items, so you're going to have to do four damage with uh, flail I'm only, tests. I'm only one up. Yeah. We don't want that. And then you get attacked for two. Nobody needs that. We, we're supposed to hang out with this guy. All right. So well, I think things that need to happen for sure are probably I need to get these two clues. Three to a five is not awful. I don't think I have anything that would even buff that that isn't an item. Um, Christopher would buff it. I definitely have some, some assistance that I could offer. Mr. Milan. What's a two? You know, two tests isn't bad. I the way I see it is we're probably just going to be stuck in this room for at least one more turn. So really, it's like if you just try, take your tests, pass the ones that you pass. We have two turns to basically get this done. Yeah, we got tons of time. So also, people wondering about the bag. It actually tells us to replace it. It says, while playing this scenario as part of a campaign, use the chaos bag listed in the standalone mode instead of the normal chaos bag. So we're following that. Following the cards. I could, yeah, I could play Wither. That's not an item. So we could just uh, do some some hard instances of one damage, which is hilarious. So really I, what I want to do is Stargaze. Hmm. That's really what I'm interested in. I'll probably, you know, I, I'm interested in, like, No Stone Unturned, playing that, maybe oh, yeah. finding you, Christopher uh, Milan. Cash. Uh, Milan Christopher, Dr. Uh, Dr. Milan, as we say. Or the Necronomicon. I don't know if that's an item. I don't think that's an item. I'm going to start there. I'm going to be selfish. You got everything you need, right? Yeah, I just need this guy gone. All right. <laughs> One cost. Search the top six. For the old no stone unturned. It's a good okay. card. Okay. That was okay. in my uh, okay. Joe Diamond Oof. hunch. Okay. Now, working a hunch is interesting here. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Do we really want to sacrifice the, the time to get miss? That could potentially be so important this entire game, evading everything for a simple one fast clue. I think you're going to get these clues without even trying? Without really trying so hard. I'll probably take miss then. I think you take miss when you see miss. I'm going to be kicking myself if I don't. Don't miss it. <laughs> I'm going to be kicking myself. All right, let's shovel this back up. Let's take some shots at the bag. What do you think? Two tests. Five to three. Get those clues, man. Five and then I'll three. just try to parlay. A real bad test. Ian's saying, uh, hey guys, have you seen what are your thoughts on Barkham? 
We've seen the scenario for sure. I saw the pictures and it was hilarious looking. We'll probably play it when it comes out, I assume. I'm signed up on that there scenario subscription. Never knew that, right? My land? My land. For right. Milan? Second action. I yeah. can't. There's no way. <laughs> That's never going to change in my heart. Shuffle that bag up. The first test of Farcom Con 2020. 2020. Here we go. Wah, wah, wah. Here we go. We're all in this together. Everybody I was out just there. looking to take some time off. Everybody in their deck chairs. They got some pleasing ocean sounds playing in the background. <laughs> some Inya. A minus one. Boom. One, one down. down. Storm and Norman, indeed. Here we go. One more time. Number two. Hit me with it. Number two. Minus one, not a bad way to start a convention. I like it. It's basically a superstar in this game. <laughs> it's one of the best results. Number two, a skull. What does it do? Minus two. Boom, boom, boom. Norman on the scoop. Yeah, we're three this. So Taking it to minus, the house. Minus two or minus four if your location is exhausted. How uh, does that happen? I know. The hood, hooded figure, is a minus two. If you succeed, either deal a damage to a cultist enemy or remove a doom from a cultist enemy. Worth noting, none of those tokens are currently in the bag. Great. Aside from the skull. Tablet, minus three. If you succeed, either draw two cards or gain two resources. Oh, so a good tablet. The gas mask is a minus four. <laughs> if you succeed, ready your location or exhaust a deep one enemy. So also good. But they're like big numbers. So, so they're all you succeed, good, but bad. They're bad, but if you succeed, they're good. They're bad, good. Okay. But good. Yeah, clever. Mine? Clever mythos busters. I can't do anything else, so I'm just going to waste some time. <laughs> John. John Gordon, where can I access this scenario? Check out the... Uh, check out the uh, mythos busters? Mythos busters. Yeah, the website there. It's called Consternation on the Constellation. Constellation being the name of the ship, of course. <laughs> Are, if you're just going to waste time on tests, why don't you just draw some cards? What are you doing? What kind of wasting time are you doing? I mean, it's a two to a, uh, three. a three. Well, we didn't get this far doing that kind of a test. I believe two I, two things would, would succeed there. A star and the plus one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like one in seven-ish. That's a garbage plan. Twice? You got to have that friend at the table who's that's totally like a, that's sober. That's like a 20, 25% chance. <laughs> what? Really? You think two out of, out of that it's number of tokens? It's one in seven twice. One out of seven? There's more than 14 tokens in there's there. There's only 15 tokens in the bag. Oh, there's a lot Look, in this what one. Do you Look, do? hold on, check it out. I'll, I'll show you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Ah, oh, premonition. Great. I'll play that top of the turn. Uh, let's see. Here's the bag. It's the bag, man. So we have in this bag mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 tokens. 19 tokens in the bag. Okay, so we're at like 10% twice, the odds of it, it I'm, it's a 19% chance of one of them succeeding. Mm -hmm. If you try to draw a card, it's a 100% chance you'll get one. But it's a, probably a 10% chance I'll get a weakness. Would you like that that now though? That's a good, this is a good time right. to waste time on a weakness. Fine, and money, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> What's my hand size cap? You know, playing the game eight. I'm not used to being there. I'll draw one more card. There it is, Mob Enforcer. That's exactly what you wanted. Prey, Hunter. Uh, he engages with me right now, right? That's right. Get your I money. Mean, it's not what I wanted at all, actually. Because well, you I can spend some money and get rid of it. I don't have a way to deal with it. Mm. <laughs> Third action. Spend four. That's right. Get rid of them. Hey, that was a better turn than, than just punting the tests, right? Although, if I had succeeded twice, you'd be real happy with me right now. <laughs> I would be okay with it, yeah. It's only the big brain a, Norman's got to do the big brain stuff. What is it? What are you? Got? One in a hundred. One out of a hundred times that, that sequence happened, I would have succeeded two of those tests. Interesting. Ask Chris how what he would have done. All right. Well, what, we're going to it around. Draw a card. Draw gain a card. Resource, gain a resource. Yeah. Crack the case coming a little bit too late. Doom on. Doom on. Bad cards. Here we go. Oh no. Cultist of the deep. Humanoid cultists spawn nearest location with an attached crate of goods. Any empty deck location instead of there are no crate of goods in play. There are no crate of goods in play. So what do we do? It breaks. Oh no, calls to the deep. Nearest location with an attached crate of goods. Any empty deck location instead if there are, this is a deck location. It's not empty. 
Is this a deck location? No, that's the ocean. Uh, so if we can't spawn him, do we not spawn him? I ran into this with an earlier thing. Somebody told me that that was the case. Near okay, Mythos it, Buster says, whiff. What's okay. whiff mean? I think this means that we don't get have to spawn this thing. No valid spawn. He can't spawn. Yeah, him. see you later. So Calls I just us don't to get the anything? Do I get a new card? Who's laughing now? Uh, the Coconut Monkey has a pretty important question here. I love that name. Says, late to the stream, what player board is Zach using? It looks pretty awesome. This is the uh, Carcosa compatible board that we did. It's got like a gold, dark gold. I love it. You can see it in the small shot. Better. It's got a nice shine to it. It's one of my favorites we've done. I love gold. I don't think I shuffled these. All right. We're going to redo that. Try it again. Because I also drew a Cults to the Deep. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. That, it's just whiff. Whiff or We both just discard our Cults to the Deep. Uh, and then he's asking about your board. He says, wait, are those both new boards? Prototype. Carcosa's out. That That's on the website. Out. That released recently. This one's in uh, prototype form. It's our Undone inspired uh, variation. And it's looking absolutely phenomenal. Tarot card inspired. I love that color. Just beautiful. What up, Parker? All right, you ready? Ready. Clap of thunder. Kay. Revelation. Test three brain. Hey, that's something I'm decent at. Okay, there's an errata I need to look at. If I fail, I must choose one of my stats, discard each card with at least one matching skill icon from my hand. Now, here's an important clarification. You don't have to pick an icon that you have. You can pick an icon you don't have, so you don't have to discard anything if you fail. Just keep that in mind. Hot tip. Hot tip. Nico, it's got a little bit of a blue-green hue. We're trying to make that spectral, uh, make it feel like that spectral mist. Hold on, let me look at my hand to see how bad this is. You got a four brain, you're past it. Oh, uh, the main thing is if I have an icon that's worth ditching, yeah. then it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess then you may so as well not even, fist, not even pump it. Fist isn't happening. I it? swear, I've seen this. We get one nat a day in here. Look. You know, gnat covers a, a broad range of, of insects. A good gnat? <laughs> good gnat? <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll take the test. I'm not going to put any cards in, because the one card I would put in is a brain card, and that's the icon I would choose, and that's the only one I have. Let's do it. A test in three. Nice. I got a four. Let's go Zoe. Minus two. Minus I fail. Two. I'll choose the brain. No, oh, there goes your dodge. Bummer. There goes that card I drew last turn. So last turn cost me four money. <laughs> Ocean's Ma, test three brain. If I fail, take a damage. Attach an ally asset I control to open water. You lose control of the asset. The ally gains. Take control of this card if you are at open water. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. So if Ocean Ma triggers, your ally essentially gets tossed overboard and you can go there to rescue said ally, which is just great. That's good stuff right there. You gotta love that. Uh, okay, so given that I don't have an ally, I don't really care about this test so much. Huh. That's really cool. Cool art, too. Yeah. So, three to four, zero. It's passed, anyway. Swoosh it. Call of the Ocean is nothing for an old traveler like Norman Withers. He looks down into the ocean as much as he looks up into the stars. All right, I got cracked the case again. One turn too late. Thank you, Norman. Nailed it. It's time to parlay, isn't it? Parlay, Parlay indeed. three to trick the big lug. If you succeed, an investigator at your location may place one clue on him. So here we go. Parlaying, indeed. Mm. If you don't have an ally, you go to open water, so you go overboard. Woo! That's don't like that. I'm going to need to get Mr. Rook at it. I might do that right now, then. Well, let's see. I might need a third test. All right, first action, five to three. It's a classic test. Nobody can hate this test. I don't think I want to buff it or anything. Say premonition for when it matters. Agreed. Let's get this guy out of here. <laughs> Retro Daniel, that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs to read? Minus one. I'm hot on the bag today. <laughs> Boom. Go <Feel> bag hot. <laughs> Classic condition. Second action. Here we go. I feel that minus six come on. No, you don't. Just feel Should it. I premonition it? No. No. You, you got no, Nothing's on the line here. A zero. Oh my gosh. Just dominating. Enforcer right. gone. If there are no enemies in play, advance. So let me read this next act. Act 1A, the backside is escape. With the muscle taken care of, you now find the way to the rest of the ship clear. Although you don't know exactly what the cultists who have taken control of the ship are up to, 
You're certain they must be stopped. Put each set aside location except lifeboat into play. You got this? Go to the location. Each set aside location except for lifeboat, yes. Yep. Well, that's. Attach a random damning. copy of Crate of Goods to deck lounge and theater, passenger cabins, and sun deck. Okay, so I'm going to reference, they have a little a suggested setup card here. Um, and I can't really read it because it's really tiny. You guys see this? That's hilarious. Good luck. But I can Zoom make it enhance. out. Zoom I can and make enhance. it out. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Engine room. Boiler room. says, we're going to need a bigger table. <laughs> yeah, it really Start explodes. Start sinking this down. Give me, give me as much as you've got. Okay, that's fine. There. Then we've got the galley. Okay. Then we've got the dining room and the passenger cabins and the library. Okay, just hold the phone on how cool this is, by the way. And then we've got the deck lounge and theater and then the bridge and then the sun deck. So how much? We can push those up a little bit. Just a little bit. Give us a little room. Faux show. Sure. Picture in picture will be a little. So here's here. my thing. If I look at the cargo room, it goes to the yellow circle, the orange heart, and the star. Here's your. These are the arrows. This will this will help us out. Oh, it goes this way. We're getting wild here. So it goes to the sea. It goes to the engine room. All these are connected. The cargo room is kind of like our little. Uh, we were in prison down there. But where where's the orange heart? Engine room can go here. And open water can go here. So we got to get up to the galley, and then we can go all the way across. So let's, do you mind if we do this? And then the dining room can go here. You know what I mean? Sure. Whatever makes you, whatever makes you that's happy. That's this, right? Yeah, this can go here, yeah. yeah. And this yeah. Like goes up to the next level. Mm -hmm. And then these, these guys, the middle so dining room connect. can go here. That's how we get here. So the dining room yeah. is kind of the most important one. And this... This is kind of its own. Yeah, these guys layer. are all connected to these three. And this connects that way too. Yeah. But these don't connect, so they're a little pushed apart. A little passenger cabin. Same okay. way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then it says, because we're down here in the cargo room. Whoops. And just uh, real quick, we'll show you the uh, show you the, the actual. So it's here. And we'll 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 drag it down as the picture in picture goes. All right, what else you got? All right, it says, and then attach a random copy of Crate of Goods to, okay. we're going to need three copies, I think. I got three right here. Three Crate of Goods, randomly. One is to Deck, Lounge, and Theater. OK. This one. One is to Passenger Cabins. And one is to Sun Deck. Advance the Agenda Deck to Agenda 2A. Remove all Doom tokens from play. From play, the do, the agenda is not from play. Okay. Wait. Yeah, we're doing those uh, location connectors, right? That'd be something, wouldn't it? They're on the list. Some kind of marker, maybe a token. Yeah, who knows? Maybe uh, some sort of a uh, kind of like an object that maybe had arrows or something on it. Yeah. Connecting. Are you feeling? Are you yeah, feeling? I, I got you. I just, uh, so it says something. There gotta be something out there. It says advanced to agenda two A. I think we advanced this. Oh, immediately. Well, okay. So advance it. Before we do that, though. Or because we're no longer this. captured, yeah. right? Uh, so two A. One agenda one. Oh wait, we probably skip this. Yes, the back of agenda one A. I would. Is it bad for us? Well, I assume we don't resolve it because it never triggers. It says advance to agenda two A. Yeah, because like that would be really bad. I saw that we all get moved to open water. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get moved to open water. We're not uh, drowning. Search not today. Sh agenda two A. Search the ship. The cultists rush through the ship in a frenzy, ransacking everything in sight. Clearly, they're searching for something and whatever it must be, extremely valuable to them. Forced, at the end of in the enemy phase, place a doom on each crate of goods for each ready cultist enemy at its location. So okay. for every cultist at this location, it gets a doom. So they get, they, they're, they're mystifying the goods. Yeah. Remove all doom from a crate of goods when it is flipped. Okay. So if that gets flipped, we remove the doom from it. All right. This Easy. needs 12 in order for us to go to the next layer. Okay. Easy. And then Act 2A. Find it first. Act 2. From eavesdropping on the cultists. I haven't been dropping any eaves. Uh. You hear one name. I'm listening to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's a, a classic Sam one. You hear one name repeated over and over. Lagrasse. Lagrasse. Don't say hamster. Hamster wheel. <laughs> the cultists seem to be searching for a certain item that a person named Lagrasse is transporting. You must search through the cargo marked with his name to find it first. Objective, 
when you take control of Tablet of Dagon. Advance. Okay. Dagon. Just gonna slide. You. That's a, that was also a, a weapon in uh, early Dota. You could do an instant like 400 damage to somebody. Wow. You're yeah, a, you're I'm pretty cool. Um, <laughs> all right, you know, I was, I was playing a lot of those games. Oh, just low key cool, <laughs> you know. Not trying to do hard, of course. Just doing my thing. Anybody out there drinking coffee with us? Any coffee out there? Any beer drinkers right now? It's a lot of different times and a lot of different parts of the world. It's cool. We can all drink something together. We, let's all drink something together. Water. Let's take this moment and hydrate. Cage McClure says, no NTC. Those are going to be gold-plated connectors. <laughs> you know it, man. <laughs> okay, I have one more something. action. I got one more action. Um, and now I can either uh, trigger the cargo room search to search the, search the top X for an item asset, or I can play Mr. Rook. Which I want to do because I, I don't I don't want to get thrown overboard. So I'll play Mr. Rook as my last action, and that's going to open up potentially a, another slot on the top of my deck because I can't play Crack the Case this turn. Uh, and I'm going to get three secrets, and then I'm going to take my fast action to use one. And I can't remember how bad the weaknesses are for me, honestly. I I I forget all the time. I'm going to search the top nine. Crack the case is number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We do have the 13th vision. Nailed it. Fun comments coming in. Uh, Jeremy says coffee. Thomas drinking some juice. Uh, Kev says beer o'clock over here. Nice. Assume you're overseas. Cage McClure drinking some Stumptown blend. Excited about that. CJ says I want some bourbon, but I'm still working. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan's had a, a four cups already. Well, good luck sleeping. Uh, be crisp on some iced tea. That sounds nice. Okay, so we will draw a weakness. We've got the 13th vision out, our favorite. So investigators at my location are going to fail ties. Great. But I don't plan on tying. And then I'm going to go and grab my fingerprint kit because it's critical for all of these locations. I think it's going to be really important for me to uh, make sure that I can get two clues at a time. You ever been on a cruise? No. Have you? Yep. This This looks about like a cruise would look. It's, All right, you know, a big hotel on water with cultists and stuff. Things. Yeah, uh, there were a few cultists when I went on a cruise. Okay, top card. Oof, Necronomicon. I hear that's important. That would have been nice. I would have played that. Ooh, I definitely would have played that. All right, over to you, man. All right, first thing I'm gonna do. Norman's check out done. this turn. I'm gonna play my one XP ever vigilant off of my three XP stick to the plan. But Ever Vigilant is going to let me play three assets at minus one. So let's play a guard dog for two, mm. a survival knife for one, and he's my cashing out all for the free. He's cashing out all the money. And then because I had that card that like discards cards from my hand that match a certain icon, I'm yeah. I'm nervous to have my cards get get gone. Yeah. So before I go anywhere, in case we get you get an enemy, I can still deal with it. I'm going to play my emerge. Can I, is it only once per round? I think it is. You think you're going to play a card once per round off of uh, Stick to the Plan? Yeah. It'll tell you. Yep. Okay, so I can't do what I wanted to do. Exhausted. Well, yeah. Arkham at its finest. Why don't you go exploring? Uh, so we were exploring. Check out the open water. Yeah, see what's jump, out there. Jump uh, right take a, in. Take a dive. Just see. You know. Uh, let's, play across. Dive in. Let's go uh, second action to the engine room. The engine room says, the engine room should normally be a noisy place, but it's eerily quiet. The cult is perhaps interested in keeping the ship at precisely this location. Uh -oh. Engine room, four shroud, two clues, deck one. If there are no clues on the revealed side of boiler room. This one. Engine room gains. Action. If there are no clues on engine room, discard cards from your hand with a total cost of at least one book icon, one fist icon, one foot icon. Seal minus six. <sighs> Add a gas mask token to the gas bag for the remainder of the scenario. Remember that you have restarted the engine. Victory uh, one. That's too important not to do. Okay. So we got to wipe all clues off of uh, both of those. So engine rooms two. You got an action left. You want to go see what's in that boiler room? Are, think, we, are we just going to do I it? I think I just am just a, trolling around. I'm on the, the cruise mode. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> boiler room, deck one. You can feel <laughs> the heat wafting from this room. Your knowledge of the ships tells you that this is where the steam needed to power the constellation is generated. My knowledge of ships. Very vast. Yeah, it's huge. Three, sh <laughs> you, you know, three, <laughs> three shroud, two clues, deck one, victory one. We're gonna, this is going to be a 
Are we going to harvest? <laughs> yeah, because so there was, an ar- there was an official rat on the scenario. You don't have to pay to experience to go do it. It so used to we be got, two. It used yeah. to be two, but so we're going to get rich with experience here. I'm into it. Forced, after you end your turn at Boiler Room, put the top card of your deck face down into your threat area. Treat this card as an exhaustion treachery with the following text. Ugh. You get minus one physical, minus one foot, and minus one health. Forced, after you leave Boiler Room, discard this card. Weird. So you're about to do that exact thing. It's like they knew exactly what was going to happen. Yeah, so I do it, and then I end my turn. At the end, I put this face down, Mm -hmm. and I'm basically minus one, which is totally fine. I'm not a tester anyway. That's hilarious. Um, and ah, then, cool. So it's hard to be in the boiler room, man. Yeah, it's, whew, yeah, it's tough. It's, uh, as the quote on the bottom says, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> what up, Gavin? This is the uh, consternation on the constellation custom scenario from Mythos Busters. All right. Uh, now we go to the end of this, the um, phase here. So we're all exhausted. Nobody cares. There's no enemies. Draw the Necronomicon. Might never matter, could matter. Resource, card. Resource and a card. Dumon. Dumon. Draw a card. C, singer. Aloof, seal, plus one, or the superstar. Ooh. While seal singer has a token. I think it's C, singer, but the idea of seal C- singer is actually seal way singer. more funny. C- it's because I was. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you went with the sound effect. <laughs> While Sea Singer has a sealed token, that token is treated as if it were a doom for the purpose of checking the doom threshold. Um, it's aloof. Oh, it seals it right away when it comes into uh, play. Yeah. Do, uh, you want to, do you want to seal a plus one or a superstar? Definitely the plus one. I think probably the plus one, right? Because the superstar is also a plus one for me. <laughs> okay. We need this seal, and this seal's got to go. Well, <laughs> Zoe is built for this job. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, man, you're going to... Skin that seal straight away. I literally am getting every single token except for the plus one. <laughs> it's the last thing. Best I drew. for last, baby. <laughs> See, you could have been doing that while you were taking those tests. That's why we couldn't do it. <laughs> Atari slash the cultist was kissed by a rose. <laughs> <laughs> What's seal doing yeah. here? I and want then, vacation. Uh, Josh <laughs> says, no. Where is it at? There, Thomas says, say that five times fast. Uh, John uh, says, what's the easiest way to print out these custom scenarios? Uh, there's, there's some services that will do it if you look up like card printing. I think they might suggest it on the, uh, on the scenario page itself uh, on the Mythos Busters website. OK. That was yours. Now I got a bad card. Lights out. Attached to my location. Plus two shroud. Cannot play assets. Uh, investigate it, discard. Okay, that's fine. The lights can definitely go out in the cargo room. Not a problem. Broken string saying switching from coffee to craft beer. All right, making the turn. Good time. Making the turn. All right, everybody's ready. We've got both of our cards drawn. We added a doom, so now it goes back up to the investigator turn. Zach, let's talk strategy. Strats. What you thinking? So, if I engage with the sea singer. I'll get a money, I can exhaust the cross, spend the money, do a direct damage, and then she's only got one health left. You got that um, mono mono? I don't. Is that the first? first unfortunately. Action? So, my physical stat's a four, but if I use the survival knife, it's a five. She's at a four. I'm minus one because I'm in the boiler room. Mm, um, not good. But ultimately, it's like, I just need one of those tests to pass because I'll, she'll have one free damage. And if, if it does pass, I also have a um, evidence in my hand. So I could just grab a clue for free. Okay. Uh, That's actually relevant. Which I feel like is helpful because I'm not going to be able to really get clues off that anyway or yeah. any other way. Yeah. So I kind of feel like that's just my path. It is your path. You're just going to start stabbing? I mean, I just need, I need one of them to get me a result that's a... Uh, because I'm five minus one, four to four... I don't really have anything to contribute to. It's the problem. Ugh. So I need a zero or a plus, and there's one less of those in there. I could hit you with a premonition if you kind of want to see what the result would be, right? Do we have to be in the same? Oh, you could play it going into I my play it any time, yeah. Fast. That would be helpful. I mean, I could play it any time. I could also, like, draw looking for mono a mono or physical cards to boost because I only need one test to pass. So yep. I say we start there. So 
Let's start. We got to choose who's going to go first. But if you go first, I would know whether or not I, that even matters if you do the premonition. I well, I can do it on your turn. It's fast. Oh, okay, cool. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. if we did, unless it says play only in your turn, no, during any player player's uh, fast action window. So if you go first, I can drop premonition. If it's going to be a bad test for you, then maybe you don't worry about taking the test. Uh, and then I can burn the test if I would pass it on like the engine room double fingerprint. That's kit what kind I'm of saying. Thing. So, I, but I would need want you to go first in that case because I don't want to. If you reveal a bad one, I would have to burn through it to get to a good one. Yeah, but or maybe you just don't take a test, depending on how bad it is. Yeah, but like if if you technically, I guess what's the benefit of me going first? Because if you went first. You could reveal it, and if it's a test, you can definitely pass to like grab a clue at like a minus two or minus three or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but what if it's a plus one, and it would be the exact thing you need to kill that sea singer? And then I've got to burn it on a fingerprint mm -hmm, kit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you have anything in your hand that would pump a skill test? No, nothing. I All mean, those cards you drew? I have. Well, they're gone. <laughs> uh, you can always you know play that cash or dynamite blast. I don't have five. Blow up that Are seal. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can also, yeah, I could. That's true. Oh, I could do it. I could do premonition before uh, choosing turns. You want to just do that? You yeah, do let's it? take that, a crack. That makes a lot of sense. Premonish. Premonish. Here we go. It can't be the plus one, obviously. Seal Singer's got it. But it could be the superstar. Or a zero. It could be a zero. That would. That would even a, even a minus one, one I, can, I have a card to commit. It's my Enchanted Blade, my experience. So I, like, I could also find, I could also probably get in there. I think I've got cards that could commit to your test too, so. It's an information game. Don't forget that uh, ties are gonna fail because of 13th Vision. Yeah, I, I know I have Guard Dog, but, okay, minus two. I know I have Guard Dog, but she also does two Sanity damage. Ooh. So like, I don't really wanna take that. Ever. Okay, so if I go move, mm, 13th vision is a problem. Who designed this? The 13? Who are you so, guys? Uh, if you can pass it, I can pass that test. I feel like you just come here and collect the clues. Okay. And then, just like, clear it out. I will basically draw, because she's aloof, so she's not doing anything to me. Mm -hmm. um, but there's so many cards I could draw into that make this a non issue. That's true. This turn or next, as yeah. long as I can just take her off the table one of those two turns. You're right. You're right. Okay, then I'm going to go first. What Let's up, Ben? Welcome. Out. Saying, help. hey, everyone, forgot it was early today. Glad you made it. We're just getting started. So I would be a 5, 6. I'd have to go to a 7, which I can do. Ooh, but I would have to burn. I don't want to burn my stargazing on it. Maybe it's just the right time to do it, though. This is a problem. Mm-hmm. Why are weaknesses always so bad? You know, there's also... Hmm, there's also Mr. Rook play here. Jeremy's saying, too bad you guys don't have any of those connector tokens. They're on the list. They'll get here. I promise you that. Although I get nervous doing that, because every time you promise something, uh, problems show up. Problems show up, that's right. So I guess I guess my plan is to go to the engine room. I don't have the cash for that uh, fingerprint kit yet. I might. Mm, I got to take a test though, don't I? I mean, honestly, is there any kind of minus two that would succeed for you? Yeah. the The thing is, I don't don't be in the same room as me. I'm not because of the thirteenth vision. The other thing is, like, I may not even test this round. Maybe none of us will test. That's what I'm saying. It's like okay. if you just get rid of that thing and move here. Yeah, that's kind of my play. And then I'll draw and see what I get. But yeah. I might if I get a plus two physical card, right? It's like I there are cards that do that. Okay. And it would give me the stuff that I need. I'm, to get I'm into it. I'm into it. We it's a cruise ship, right? We should take it easy. That's right. We got twelve on the doom clock. We're just gonna have a good time here. <laughs> Famous last words. Famous. Last First words. action, uh, second and third, I'm going to drop this weakness because honestly it's just too bad. And then I am going to go ahead and Mr. Rook this Mind Over Matter away. Or, yeah, I think that's right. No, 
No, I'm not. Ugh, I don't want to go over my eight cards. My eight yeah. cards. Ah. Fine, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. It's fine. All right, mine? Yeah. Let's draw a card. Uh-oh. Heavy reading? Is that good or bad? It's good. It's, yeah? It's good. Good. I'm going to play an emergency cash for three money off of my stick to the plant. Okay. Second action. And then... I will pay Don't two for a small favor. Oh, no way. Uh, deal the damage to a non-elite enemy at your location. So I'm just going to deal one. She's cool. aloof, so she doesn't really matter right now. Next round, I engage her, get a money, do one. Beautiful. I love it. Although that's going to cost me an action next round. It'll cost you an action. Yeah, you'll have to do it. So I almost think I just pay the extra two here mm -hmm. and make it two damage. Well, but... Also, so that action will gain you one money. But then I have to spend the money to do the free damage. Oh, uh, right on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You may as well, right? So, like... Yeah, dump it in. All right. Small favor to the Let's seals. Get it out. She's gone. Put that Let's back that in the Put that plus bag. one back in there. Not bad. Not oh, bad. you know what? That's not... I'm not doing that. I figured out. I remember why. So I need the okay. money so I can play evidence when it goes away. Right. And get the free clue. Right, right, right. Learning. Okay. So we did it. Then we go to enemies. Aloof enemy doesn't matter. No other enemies on the table. They don't need to do anything. Everybody readies that would need to ready. We draw cards. Oh, there's Warren Rice. Hello. I might play you. We gain a money. You gain a money? Yep. OK. And then we go up to the top. Can you doom, please? Yep. Someone asked about the face down card in my play area. That's from the boiler room. It comes in, it gives me minus ones uh, to a handful of, of stats. Bad card. Thalassophobia. Mm, that's a fear of the deep. Fear mm, of the ocean. Yeah, that's a terrifying image. Thalassophobia or whatever? Revelation. Test two brain. This test gets plus two difficulty if your location is exhausted. For each point you fail by, take a horror. I'm ahead by two. You and that... you say if your location is exhausted. It's not. This is an exhausted treachery card, but I don't think that counts. Yeah. Our location is not exhausted. So I'm currently ahead by two, but I take a horror for each point I fail by. Do you have the reverse card in case I get that minus six? No, and I'm not even at your location. Mm. It's fine. You're, it? you're taking a minus two. And I get... Uh, it's guaranteed. Another one of these. Minus two. Premonition. Okay, so uh, I'll take the test and pass it. And you account kind of for your minuses and all that with the boiler. Yeah, that doesn't mess with my brain. All right, just my there you go. And speed. Premonition. That paid, was a great premon premonition. Paid actually. dividends there, as it always does. The greatest card. Oh, I've got my own sea uh, singer. Zoe, oh, you got your work cut out for you. And now we get to seal the superstar mm, on that one. Bummer. That's a bummer, man. They're taking all of our good stuff. This is really cool, like sirens. You know. Taking all of the good stuff and leaving us with the bad. They're just tempting our fate here. Nick Murphy says, I currently have player boards and tokens in my cart right now. Hmm. hmm. Well, if we win this scenario, I have to check it out. <laughs> all right, over to us. So, uh, okay, let's talk strategy. Zoom in. All right, so my plan is engage, spend my money with my cross to do an automatic damage, defeat the enemy, Play my evidence mm -hmm. to gain one of those clues. Yeah. Leave the boiler room because I need to get rid of these conditions. Mm -hmm. And then spend one action doing something. And then I'm going to ultimately try to deal with this next. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Totally fair. Okay. And then it looks like I really just need to take a second to set up. Mr. Trench saying, Was that a Lebowski reference? You'll find our streams full of them. Yeah happens I you know Norman I think you're gonna play a fingerprint kit and then I think you're going to grab two clues mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I think you're gonna grab some cash mm -hmm, mm -hmm. honestly I think that's what's gonna happen now if you have a fancy clever way to get clues off of the boiler room like two investigates or uh, evidences nice. or what have you to investigate, or evidence would be nice. It would be nice, yeah, wouldn't it? Sure would. 
or that. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have any way. But I'm gonna clear the enemy and get it down to one clue, so you don't have to fingerprint kit it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, you want to go first. You got your plan on lockdown. It seems like. Yep. All right. So Zoe's gonna choose to engage. She'll gain a resource, but then I'll exhaust my cross and pay a resource to do a damage. The plus one goes back into the bag. Thanks. Old no test, Zoe. Uh, then second action, let's, uh, and when I do that, I'm going to spend one on uh, evidence. He's so a clue. three, down to two. It's a fast action. Found um, some evidence in the boiler room. That's cool. Yep. And then I'm going to leave the boiler room. These two go away. Mm, one of my beat cops and my Delve Too Deep are gone. Oh, not Delve. No. That was my secret trap card. It was card. too perfect. We're delving too deep, literally. It's in a deep. giant ocean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big ocean there. Uh, then I think Big ocean energy. I'm just going to gain a money. Wow. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's a reason to do much else. Now, can you start working towards this, um, this thing? Can you get a fist and a foot and a book all in your hand? I'm already ready to go. Are you? Yep. Great. Okay, so then next turn, I'll start here, grab the clue, and then you'll you'll be able to activate that. Discard everything. Is. Seal the minus six. Start the engine. Yep. We want to start seems the engine good. here. And we'll be two XP I out. mean, it seems relevant, right? If we stumble in and we realize that the engine's not working, that's clearly a problem for a cruise well, ship, right? And no matter what we do, if the, in, if the cruise ship isn't going, we're going to be caught in the middle of, like, cultists and giant creatures. We'll be stuck there forever. Or dead. We'll have to... Blast our way out. Okay, so what you're saying is first, I'm going to use Mr. <laughs> Rook to drop Mr. Trench in response to my Lebowski response says, I knew you had good taste. <laughs> We're all here for Arkham, right? Okay, I'm going to grab a time warp to be safe. Get a new fresh card on the top. Get something better. Now, if I hit a fingerprint count on the top here, that's very good. That'd be sweet, sweet. little discount. David asking, Zach or Steven, by chance, are y'all going to sell FFG's Marvel card plus dice board game? Um, that's that's unlikely. I haven't really scoped it out too much, but uh, mm, nice. we usually don't, good. don't list uh, one-off products like that. Um, we are looking at those uh, the, like Marvel Champions uh, licensed sleeves that uh, got announced, so that hopefully we'll have something on that by Monday when we're streaming Champions, where we'll presumably be talking about all the new stuff that got announced. That'll be a, a pretty cool discussion. They've been th this morning. They were dropping bombs. Hmm. Ah, we just don't have time. Man, I want to play that mist right now at minus one. Oh my gosh. Mm, from d from top of deck? But it's just enough to not allow that... Um... You're going to draw it, though, right? I mean, I already have one in hand, though. How does one nat... It's, always, in... it's always one. Does got him. Get it? Oh, my yeah. goodness. That was like Karate Kid level. <laughs> like, immediately wax on, wax off. Got him. <laughs> Woo! Okay. You bet. You bet, David. Thanks for asking. Good questions. Good questions. So, we can fingerprint kit for all my money... Grab two clues, move to the boiler room, which is not exactly ideal because ending your turn here. Yeah, I mean, not the best. Do you care about those stats though? Well, I might, depending on the treachery cards. Also, it would take the top card of your deck and put it down. Yeah. You do not want to lose that yeah. miss. Yeah. So, why don't you. I might do a whole thing. I might just do the whole thing. I might just get some money, play the miss, play the fingerprint kit, and then be ready to, to roll for the rest of the game. I'm fine with that. You okay with that? Yeah. You like that? Now, I originally was going to play the cash for the um, the extra charges, but here we are. All right, emergency what cash, up, level three. Going to gain four resources. Oh, my, my. Now, what I could do instead of that, actually, hold on a second. I could also Necronomicon gain two resources fingerprint kit. That's a much better play. So let's do Necronomicon for two. Okay. Then spin its action to gain two resources, back to four, and then play the fingerprint kit. Do -do -do -do. Do -do. And now we've got a static plus one forever. You're ready to rumble. But I didn't play the miss. Dude, that Necronomicon. But I think that's fine. That's every turn. That's crazy towns. Yeah, I can I can gain two oh. resources every every time I want. It's actually it's not even it doesn't even exhaust it. I can just keep pressing the buttons like Magnum the, Opus. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. literally has it in the card name. You guys pointed that out last time. Now I could also 
No. I'm going to play the mists instead. I don't yeah, you may that. as well. Yeah. You get the discount. Get my And you can still back. fingerprint kit next turn. I think this is right. Now Norm's ready for anything. I've got a Necronomicon and a Mist of Rulia. Done. All Your right. Turn. I already went. Really? Remember I got rid of the enemy and moved? That was all this turn? Yep. Oh, wow. It's been a long turn. Huh. It's been such a long turn. All okay. right. Uh, flip. No enemies. Gain a resource. Draw a card. Doom oh, on. You do this. Draw a card. Gain a resource. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to discard a Mr. Rook. Your cap? Man. I'm a cap. Um, yeah. All right. I got an Order Enforcer. Prey, most clues, hunter, retaliate. When order enforcer attacks you, discard a non-story item, asset you control, reduce the damage you want. So he engages with me, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then I'll gain one, but I'll use my cross to do one. Don't you love that? It's been such a long time. And do they still have the plus? No, they don't. Okay, so these guys are like nothing now. You don't. You just got to look at those guys in it. Yep, that's what your guard dog. Can they're do gonna some melt. Here Absolutely, very cool. Okay, and then over to me. Bad card, Thalassophobia. Two brain plus two. If the location is exhausted, it is not. Two to four. I got eight sanity. I got a big brain. It's fine. It's insanity. Boom. Minus two on a four is a pass. Now that da -da -ding. delves just deep enough. Okay. We did it. All right. Um, so what's your turn? So it's fingerprint kit, gain two clues, uh, maybe do something, something else. And then my next turn will be go here now. Well, let's see. Just crack the case. So we'll have four money coming our way. Do you need money? You need cash? Hey, kid. Not really. I actually will. I will need money. Why don't you go and let's see what you get up to. Okay. So I need to be in the room to start the engine. So I'm literally looking at... Uh, if I do anything else, this is an attack of opportunity, right? Yes. Anything that isn't like fighting or... And does that evading. trigger as soon as I do it or after I resolve it? The attack of opportunity happens before you resolve the action that triggers it. So like, let's just hypothetically say I had a call in, <laughs> call in, in favors. Yes. I pay one. Yes. I take the attack. Ooh, now that's some next level tech. Yeah, I take the attack. Yeah. So I put two damage here. Yeah. I react and do one damage back. Yeah. Then calling in favors resolves. Yeah. I get to search the top nine cards in my uh -huh. deck for an ally, swap it out for the guard dog. I think that works. I think it works. Zoe's on fire. I think it works. She's I mean, on fire. <laughs> it works. I, mean, I think it works. Yeah. All Doesn't right. That, that works, right? That works. That's that's the that's the dream. That works. I haven't had calling of favors to play the dream. Mythos Busters on Twitch says that works. I believe it's a it's a brand new day for Zoe. It's one of these days. <laughs> All right. So we've <laughs> that got whole <laughs> flex going. I'm picturing Zoe doing that, and it's hilarious. We've got let's see, fingerprint kit coming in for four, three charges. Okay. Let's talk this out. You got any? Uh, you got any books worth having here? Shadow Warrior says, "Big brain plays." Yeah, that was a big Indeed. brain play for sure. We'll make a lot of the big brains. <laughs> what, what are you doing? So I'm gonna have a basically a seven. Let's see, five, six, seven to its four. That's fine. Minus three is a fine number, right? The gas mask is minus four. We don't even have it in there yet. Well, that seems good. <laughs> minus two. <laughs> Hit it, man. There's two minus fours, a minus five, a minus six, and a tentacle. So five of these tokens. Just don't fail. Basically a 25% chance of failure. Well, that seems great. And you're factoring in your book stat? I've, it's all been factored. And the fingerprint boost? The fingerprint boost is factored. The other and the boost? Necronomicon, plus one. You wouldn't believe everything's factored here. And I thought that's great. 35% less attack, 100% more opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's up, Costa Rica? Big Daddy Rod. <laughs> it's a great name. I think I can say that on the air. <laughs> Kev Orchard. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yeah. Minus two is a pass. Swoosh Norman it. doesn't know how to fail test, ladies Just and gentlemen. hitting that clue pinata. Let's hit crack the case off the top of the deck. 
That's going to give four money distributed how we like to investigators at the scene. Do you have any need for money is my first question. I mean, it's never <laughs> bad. I, so I'm going to spend one on calling in favors. If I get the, my most expensive ally, it will cost me two more. I'll still have one left. Here's what I, here's, um, here's honestly, here's what I should do. I'm going to get the four money and play Dr. Christopher as my last Definitely, action. dude. Yeah. You're just literally cruising. Get four money. Oh, I can't do that. I just played Crack the Case. Only once per turn. Mm. But you can get the four money knowing you're going to draw him. That's true. I'm taking four. All right. So play fingerprint kit, test fingerprint kit, crack the case of fast action. Alan says, are you trying to get the engine running without knowing why you would even need to get the engine running? Well, yes. Yeah, because there's cultists. We were stuck in a cargo room and the ship's not moving. Well, and if you read the flavor text, it makes you think that the engine needs to be on. It's getting hot in here, it says. It does. We don't need that. Um, okay, I have one more action, and there's only one thing that I could possibly do. Rod, Rod says, hello, Rod is from Adolfo, my first name. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, you know what it's going to be? I could play my tooth. I never like it, though. <laughs> Brett, game looks fun. Great. Another reason to give Team Covenant more of my money. <laughs> it's an amazing game, and we genuinely appreciate all of our subscribers and content members and everyone's been buying the Mythos products. Uh, you guys are the best. It's time for some stargazing. Let's go. You see that? <laughs> Something... Something up there is from the engine room. I can feel it. Is I that the big dipper? <laughs> <laughs> if you're asking that, the answer is probably yes. <laughs> Boom. Ten out of 12 cards remaining. We're going to gaze some stars here. Alan says, well, the act is called find it first. Seems like you might want to do that. Uh oh, Brett, sorry. We got you hooked on flesh and blood. I'm well, not sorry. Sorry, sorry not, not sorry. sorry. Yeah, exactly. OK, so uh, good luck. There was a clutch stargazing last scenario, so. So the other thing is, uh, Alan asking about what we're doing with our time right here on the scenario. I don't ever want to have to come back down here. Once we get up into the action up here, it's so many actions to get back down to the boiler room. So I think if we don't start the engine now, it's going to be painful later. That's right. Finish what you started. Now here's another thing. Um, so we Kylo. need at least one. Book, fist, and I flight. I got that. I just need you to get that clue. I know, but I'm saying maybe you can just move on if I have it. So then I can go hmm. move, get the clue, move back, and just be ready to start the engine. I don't currently have a book icon. I could I could save Christopher for it, though. Mind over matter covers my uh, fist and uh, foot. I think that's a better play, man. I don't think okay. you can just sit, sit around I'll, here and waste time. I'll go time. cruising. Yeah. <laughs> see what you got. Get I see. All, All right, right. I'm mine, exhausted. Yeah. Am I good to go? You're good. Let's do some Zoe magic. Calling in favors. Cost me one. I've got an enemy. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> attack of opportunity. I take two damage. I'll put it on the guard dog. He'll react. He'll do one back. The order enforcer goes away. And then calling in favors resolves. This is just magic. Uh, guard dog bounces to my hand, and I can search the top nine cards of my deck for an ally and play it, reducing its cost by X. X is the cost of the ally returned to my hand. So minus three. Yeah, those open gates would have been perfect, Thomas, right? The only ally that I got, Brother Xavier. Oh, he's perfect. This is exactly where he's supposed to be. Cost he me looks two. like he came right out of the ocean. Just Yeah, he's got the tentacle coming around. Mm -hmm. uh, so I get plus one mine. The Brother Xavier may be assigned damage and or horror dealt to other investigators at his location. Reaction when he's defeated, deal two damage to an enemy at my location. That's right. Big old sponge. The old Brother Xavier sponge. Okay, and I've got guard dogs on tap. <laughs> guard dog on tap. So that good. was action one. Action two, let's go. I think the only way to go is the gallery. You gotta go yeah. to the gallery, yep. Yeah. It comes, uh, let's read it. Deck number two. I like that they're marked like that so you know where you're at on the ship. The galley is the, that's uh, the galley, not the gallery. The galley is the area where food is prepared for everyone on the constellation. You can hear muffled screams and shouting coming from somewhere inside. Two clues, three oh. shroud, action. This is getting weirder by the, by the second. Yeah, well, there's clues. I think something's there. going on here. Uh, action, if there are no clues on galley, test three fist or foot. If you succeed, you have freed crew members from the refrigerators. <laughs> Seal the minus four. Add a hood to the token bag for the remainder of the scenario. The sound of distress are coming from the large refrigerated compartments. This is a great, I mean, already the mechanics here are fascinatingly good, right? Yeah. It starts with really bad tokens that you then seal and replace with less bad tokens that are also kind of good for you. By doing good things on the boat. 
So I'm gonna still let feel you... guilty about those kids. I feel like, tour. yeah, well, what kids? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I sleep at night. Uh, um, <laughs> what I... happened to this, by the way? What's that about? You ever have any? Oh, I forgot planes? that was there. <laughs> I should have dealt with that. Now I'm gonna have to deal with it, right? Is that what's gonna happen? I made a mistake. Um, let me think about my life. I don't mind if you go back. We all missed it. We all missed it together. I blame chat, personally. They should have been screaming about the seal singer when we were making our plans. Why are you guys always there whenever it's bad for us, but you're never there when it's good for us? What's up with that? Huh? All right, we're going to... Terry Motives? Flip, drop, and reverse. And we it. never saw that. I don't even know what a galley is. Me neither. <laughs> I still did my first thing for one. That's right. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Xavi can soak the uh, oh, yeah. the brain stuff. But I can't do the one damage right now because of the cross. Right. You've already yeah. crossed. You've crossed the cross. You go to the galley and come back. Just report. Give me a full report. The galley up there. People in the refrigerators. It's, it doesn't look good. Zoe's on the case. I just can't waste that much time. Can you get a free clue somehow? No. That'd be helpful. Sure can't. Um... You just got to look at the Sea Singer and draw some more cards. Dynamite Blast? I think it's money. Because ideally I want to get the guard dog back down. You have to go, you're going to have to take actions to get money. When you do it in Netrunner, you get slapped across the table. So the thing is, it's so efficient though. If I have a guard dog in play, next round I engage, do one automatically, move, take an attack of opportunity, Put the sanity here, one damage here, one on the guard dog. The guard dog automatically takes it out. Yeah, it's good. And then I move again, and I'm built. It's extremely good. So let's just gain. Let's just gain two money. Gross. End of round. See, we could have we could have cracked the case for you. We just weren't thinking. We right? weren't thinking. We weren't thinking. I forgot that that was there. We weren't thinking. I'm gonna have a leftover in money. It's gonna be an inefficient game. Everything's gonna go poorly. I'm gonna gain one more. Gain of money. Back to the starting pool. Draw a card. Dumon. Wither on the top rope here. Mm. Doom on, you got a bad card coming. All right, here we go. The stars are right. Remove the stars are right from the game. Choose an investigator. That investigator draws a card, gains a hey. resource, and may make an immediate action. Playing that guard dog, for instance. Oh, this is ready. Yes. Or engaging. Let's do Whatever you want to do. I'm going to guard dog it. So I'll choose me. How about that, by the way? I This has been the greatest <laughs> stargazing resource card. Oh my goodness, it's just the hits keep on coming. Oh my, look at uh, Norm. You see that up there? I, I think it's, it's a the big dipper, dude. I feel that. I can't see it, but I can feel that right about there is Orion's belt. Uh, that's right. And it's shining, the buckle's shining for us today. Uh, my immediate action will be playing the guard dog. Okay. Thank you for gazing at the stars. And this is back to you, I think. Yeah. All right, your bad card. Does this get, uh, yeah? Uh, remove it from the game, yeah. Okay, so it's back out. Boom. Brett says, don't blame me. I have no idea what's going on. We have kids inside refrigerators, something about money and guard dogs and getting slapped. I don't know. I'm just here. All right. Oh, Norman is now seasick. Seasickness has been drawn here. Old man withers. After you move, the next skill test you perform gets plus one difficulty. At the end of the turn, test three brain. If you succeed, discard it. And now there's an errata on this or a clarification that every time you move, your next test gets plus one. It's like if I do like a move, move test, it's a minus two. Okay. Or plus one difficulty. Tenet, Stomach that not, not feeling so hot. Okay, cool. Well, they, hey, the stars really turned this thing around for us, I feel like. Yep. So, strategy. Uh, engage, automatic damage, defeat, move into the galley. Okay. Refrigerators. Or, if you're going to take that clue, I can also do this as my third action instead of moving. Because mm. I, got, I got the goods. I think that's good. If you, if you can discard them without thinking Absolutely. About it. Not even a problem. Okay. Let's do that then. So first action, let's roll here. Uh, after you end your turn there, I do some stuff. I'm not going to end my turn there. Second action, I'm not going to play Chris here. Not doing it. Not needed. Second action, let's do a test at three to my five, six. So I'm currently three up. I don't think that's worth changing. I've got a time warp in case things go bad. Flip, drop, and reverse it. Flip, drop, and reverse it. Alan, the goods are in the crates. 
The files are <laughs> in the computer. In Somebody print out this spreadsheet. What is this? Tokens for ants? Minus four. We're time warping. One. Boom, boom, boom. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Try it again. Try it again. Oh, it's plus one difficulty from seasick. Maybe I should drop a card in then. Card again. I don't think I'm going to play Christopher this game. Does anyone have time? Really? I don't know. Hmm. I, I do, if we have time, I want to be sure to stop and get one of them Frappuccinos. <laughs> <laughs> Cruise ships are wild, dude. It's like every couple hundred feet, there's like a coffee thing. And it's like, especially the all-inclusive ones, nothing costs anything. <laughs> So it's like, you're going, it's like, well, do you want a Frappuccino or not? And it's like, I mean, I guess. Idiot. <laughs> sure. If all I right, always have one, one of those or a chicken tender in my hand, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm dropping Chris, okay? Oh, no. He's out of here. I'm my a plus one. three. I'm a plus three. <laughs> oh, oh, and that's why you do oh, it right there. There it is. Because you need to pass those tests. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Three about. Three-pointer from half court. Well, last action. Moving back to my friend Zoe so that the engine room can happen. All right. And then at the end of my turn, uh, test three brain on the C6. Four minus one is three. I'm no longer seasick. Because I know the stars, my position is a constant. You went into the boiler room to steam it out. <laughs> and right. you came back and you were so fine. Give this old man a but spa. They make medicine for that. You should have <laughs> taken it. I, I warned you, Norman, before we got on this boat. Okay, mine? Yeah. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to engage the C Singer. When I do, I'll gain a money from Zoe's ability, and then I'll use my cross to spend the money, do one damage. Oh, cuddly zombie. Hold on. This is, this is important. I actually failed that because I had to move back. This round, the next skill test I perform this round, bummer. Okay, so I'm still seasick. Minus two. Don't fail. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. All right, I engaged, did one automatic damage. Then, instead of taking the attack of opportunity, I think this makes sense. I hope so. It doesn't make sense, actually. I have better plans. <laughs> but now I have a better plan. Zoe's going to the galley. <laughs> oh, never seen this before. <laughs> What's in here? What's in these refrigerators? <laughs> I take the attack of opportunity. I'm going to put both sanity on Xavier. I'm going to do one damage to Xavier, one damage to the guard dog. When the guard dog takes a damage, deal a, uh, damage to the attacking enemy. So the sea singer goes away. Oof. We get that back. It's just so good. And then as my last action, let's do, 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 go ahead do, and... Do, do. Move into the dining room. Let's just explore yeah. and see what we got. What's that say? Dining room. The dining room is a huge space devoted to luxurious consumption. Tables are covered in half-eaten meals of this sumptuous variety, while the gilded walls reflect the light from hanging chandeliers. Gilded mean gold. I didn't. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, it'd be easy to lose someone in a room this big. Action. Spend a clue. Evade. Evade an enemy at this location or a connecting location. Group limit once per game. Only you don't have shrub. to take one on Brother Xavier, by the way. Sea Singer only does one damage. Oh, so you just take perfecto. it right to the dog. Yeah. I love the idea of cruising around <laughs> the ship this one with right my to dog. The dog. <laughs> I brought my dog on the cruise. All right, so spend a clue, evade an enemy at your location once per game. Yeah, we got miss. We don't need that. Is that the end of your turn? End of my turn. Yeah. Okay. I just move twice to feed an enemy. I mean, yeah, just, yeah, just normal stuff. Ready, everything? Everything readies. Still seasick. Resource, card. Draw a card. There it is. There's Warren. That's why I don't play uh, Christopher right there. So Warren on top, grab a money. One Doom on the agenda, if you would, please. So it's currently at five of 12. Five of 12. Ooh. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Cultist of the Deep. Spawn nearest location with an attached crate of goods. Any empty deck location instead of there are no crate of goods. There are crate of goods. There's two choices. So I'm either going up top or down below. But you immediately go there? Oh, you put it, it there. It spawns there. While it's at the location, treat the location as exhausted for all encounter card effects. Mm, nice. Okay, so he's searching oh. through the crates. I feel like I'm a theater gal. Okay. 
So I'm gonna just have to clean up your leftovers. I sweep through and clean up. I'm and going you're through, you're dealing with the enemies, okay. and you'll come over and get the clues as we go. Seasickness is definitely gonna make that awesome. A problem. You wanna hit that uh, encounter card? Yeah, sure. I don't want to, no. Right of the Deep. Place a doom on the nearest cultist. It's gonna be the cultist of the deep. If Dude, you... I've totally screwed this up again. What happened? Wasn't I supposed to do this? That's fine. I'll do it this time. Okay, great. You have the, the mm -hmm. stuff. Place one Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Then if you are on the same location as an enemy that has Doom on it, take two horror. You were not. So Doom here? Doom there. That's all. Doom on. Okay. All right. So now we got to do the, we got to think about things. What's your, you got a cultist playing here? Well, if I move in, I engage and do one. You blow Te up Xavier for two. Technically, if you I could do anything else, and Xavier could just take him out. Um, or you could survival knife it. Or, better yet, I could just do enough damage out of hand to get rid of him. Oh, well, that's helpful. You could also do dynamite blast. Because I'm you know? Zoe. And then, and then <laughs> you can't see me? Wait a minute. Um, you can't even sift through crates, Zoe. Nope. You can't I'm, kick I'm him, just, and you can't even search him. I'm literally just here to remove cultists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> Somebody call the cultists. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Yo, that, uh, the silver board here, this is a circle and done uh, prototype. Maybe my favorite yet, which is surprising. All right, so my plan is going to be Mr. Rook to get at least one of these... Uh, Actually, you know what? I'll probably play Rice, then Mr. Rook to get a, uh, a book card in my hand, turn on the engine as my second action, move up to the galley as my third action, and then uh, be ready to start swinging. Basically. We were swinging. Yeah. Um, so that turn probably doesn't impact you at all, so I can go ahead and take that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, so first action, let's pay two for Mr. Warren Rice because of my thrilling charisma. I'm impressed. Thank you. Uh, see what this fine card is. Ooh, working a hunch. I don't want to discard that one. That's a bummer. Um, second action, let's go ahead and use Mr. Rook. I'm gonna search the top six, because I like to go around the uh, round robin on it. I search nine first, then six. three second, yeah. and now I, six. I like it. Up, down, left, right. Do you ever remember little things that you really wish that you didn't? Like, remember? Uh, yeah. In, in Twisted Metal, you remember that old game? No. Where your yes, car is blowing I each other do. Up? <laughs> oh my gosh, so, blast from the past. Huh? On PlayStation, if you hold your little, your comment made me think up, down. I said up, down, left, right. If you hold the L and R buttons and you go up, down, left, right, right, left, down, up, it's God mode, <laughs> you can't die. Oh. Uh, but for whatever reason, I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> I was thinking about the time I pushed over that dumpster. So we're in very different places on, as far as things that are haunting us. All right. <laughs> Mine's God mode. Yours is a dumpster. <laughs> oh, no. A vengeful hound. Ah. <laughs> Our plan. Praise Norman Withers. Hey, I'm going to intercept this. This okay. is what we've been waiting for. You think so? Yeah. Is it the, the upgrade, the attachment? That's right. Uh, cannot draw or reveal cards via player card effects. Hey, I need some help down here. I might just evade it with the mists. All right. Two actions remaining, friends. Um, I feel like what I really am going to have to do, I'm going to put this boiler room just kind of under here because it doesn't much matter. So let's get Rook in here. You're still kicking. I think second action is going to be, well, what's one and one, right? What's one and one? Well, maybe it's two instances of one and one and a third. Hmm. Oh, miss. Oh, miss. Hmm. And then miss would allow me to move. That's clever, actually. So I can just leave this hound here. It doesn't even hunt. We'll just leave him in the engine room. I'm going to leave him in the engine room. So I want to trigger miss, but I don't want to waste the move right now because I don't want to move until I turn the engine on. So I'm going to do one. I'm going to turn the engine on, take an opportunity attack, yep. put one and one on Rook, 
Then I'm going to roll up to the galley, hopefully off of the miss, uh, moving Totally. Over. Okay. And then, yeah, you're golden. Keep doing your thing. So second action, let's go ahead and turn the engine on with a Christopher and a Mind Over Matter. Where's my frap? <laughs> okay, so no clues. Discard cards from your hand with a total of at least yes. Seal the minus six. Mm, it's gone. Bye, Felicia. Didn't get it. I feel like I'm Jim Culver again. Nailed it. Just going to put it right there. Okay. And then add a, uh, I got one, add a gas mask. An oogly boogly. So we go from a minus six to a minus four, and if we succeed, we get to ready or exhaust some things. So All right. four is the magic number on this one. And then third action, let's do a miss test. Second, yeah. second action, right? Third, yeah. So I, had to, I played uh, the Professor Rice as my first action off the top of the deck. Mm. I guess I need to see this. Oh, no, I don't get to. It's the Hound. While he's engaged with me. Okay, so I can just leave this hound here. Yeah, it's a complete waste of time. Four, five, six, seven. Well, normally he can't evade, really. So, like, you'd have to spend a lot of cards to evade that dog. Evade that dog. Yeah, if you're, uh, I don't know what you're doing if you're not running Mists and Norman. Right? Seven to three. And do you take an attack for opportunity to play in Rice? No, Vengeful Hound wasn't out. Hmm. Played rice, and then the top card oh, flipped to Vengeful Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, All my, I see oh, my, stars oh, my. Tonight. Oh, my, oh, my. Oh, what's my. The, what's your superstar do? Nothing useful. Great. I can swap the top card of my deck with a card from my hand. I don't see the top card of my deck because of the uh, Vengeful Hound, so it would be a total blind swap. There's just cost of the top card of your deck. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to swap anything. Well, because I'll eventually, I'll just draw it next turn. Yeah, so I won't swap anything. So Superstar passes the test. Miss allows me, uh, if it's successful, to move to a connecting location. So I'm doing that now. Doing it. The dog is exhausted. Who's exhausted now, dog? And uh, we're done. That's my turn. It's the best I can do. Not bad, not bad. All right, Zoe, she's going to move up into the deck lounge theater. Yes, I did. So I discarded for Start the Engine, Christopher, and Mind Over Matter. Took the Attack of Opportunity on Mr. Rook, which does need to happen officially. And then moved with Miss. The Deck Lounge and Theater. The Lounge and Theater would usually be filled with jovial passengers in search of company and entertainment. You but right now, it, right? it is empty and silent. Behind the stage is an almost labyrinth maze of halls and rooms, but there are countless costumes and props to be found there. Four Shroud, two clues. Forced, after you enter Deck Lounge and Theater, Lose one resource for each action you have remaining. Two. Yikes, that changes my plan. Bummer. Spend a clue to put the top card of your deck into play face down as a disguise. This card gains fast action. Discard this card. All enemies gain aloof until the end of the round. Group limit once per game. That's super cool. So you can just entertain them? So if you spend a clue, you can put the top card face down as a disguise. And then you can you have the fast action once a game to make every every uh, character aloof. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Ah. Yeah, so I go there. This uh, Cultus of the Deep engages me. I'll use Zoe's ability to gain a resource, use her cross to do a damage. And then I'm going to... Two actions remain? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. Let's use my... Survival knife to take a, a swing. I'm at five to three. I'm ahead by two. I'm going to move these locations down. Yep. Put the hound here. If it matters that he's exhausted, it will, it will matter. All right, here we go. Minus two. It's a zero. Oh, nicely done. Hits for one. And then nicely uh, nicely let's done. go ahead and just play... My one experience, mono a mono. Oh, <laughs> only as your first action. Oh, I can't play it. <laughs> Fine. I was so excited. I know, yeah. Try it again. Minus two. At worst, uh, my guard dog's ready to roll. Minus two. Minus two. It's a minus one. Nice. It's out of here. Just a clean kill there. Yeah, just uh, stabbing. Some fisticuffs. Just stabbing. Uh, and then that's the end of my turn. Okay. Easy. Everything readies. 
Uh, hunters, any hunters? Any, uh, I see no hunters. No enemies? No enemies yeah, Vengeful all. Hound doesn't hunt, right? Just says, uh, no, prey is Norman Withers. And then uh, we draw a card. Ooh, that shortcut's going to be handy. And gain a resource. And then we go up to the top of the round. Add a doom to the agenda, if you would, please. We're halfway home Six on Search the Ship. Bad card, Cultus of the Deep. Nearest location with an attached crate of goods. That's me. Uh, well, to the location that is at Acklick is exhausted. So we engage oh, with I need me. to hold on. I need to test my C6, too. Okay. So and you move once? Plus one difficulty, yeah. You started the engine, by, or you have? You did. I did start the engine. Yes, got it. Minus one. All right, success. Right? Did I get plus one somewhere? No, wait. Maybe I don't. In your turn, test three. It becomes a test four. I'm a four brain. Minus one. That makes it a three. No, I'm still seasick. Jeez. Man, I'm just gonna be seasick forever. I know? agree. Uh, so I gained the money with Zoe. I used the cross to do an automatic damage, and oh, another one of those came out. Yep. You gonna kill it? Now your mono mono can actually work. Oh you my know gosh, it. that's Here awesome! Here comes Zoe. That's awesome. Uh, okay, bad cards was yours. I yep. got one. Mm -hmm. Coming in. Sealed doors attached to my location. While it's attached, I cannot enter or leave except by scenario card effects. I can test four fist. If I succeed, discard it. I can also take two damage automatically to succeed. That sounds fine. Investigators at a connecting location can trigger this ability. OK, cool. Well, I'll probably end up doing that. Uh, David, that's a great idea for the Flesh and Blood event. That's definitely uh, not something that wouldn't be expected once we can actually be open again. Kay. Sit tight. Everybody's ready. We've drawn our bad cards. It's planning time. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We were thinking? I think I'm going to mono a mono the cultist. Then I'm going to move here, um, take an attack of opportunity, one on the dog to do a second to him so he goes away. I'll put one sanity on me, and that'll leave me with one action, which I can use to try to test three fist or four fist. Mm hmm. You can try to test four fist. I can also take a crack. I got mind over matter, so I can take a crack at it at five. I can take a seven, seven to the four. That's pretty good. That's not bad, right? Fast action. So if you do that, I'll probably just continue my journey. Yeah, yeah. Can you? You still can't search those crates, right? Definitely not. I'm hoping that. Uh, why do you even come on the ship? I know why. Because you're stabbing. Yeah, all those things that we're on the board right now. Yeah, you're killing everything. I, that's why you're here. I get it now. Somehow now I understand. Is mono mono fast? No. Why is it not fast? I mean, one free damage is pretty good. That seems strange. If it were fast, it would be crazy. So you're going to kill that thing and then continue exploring. Yep, just revealing locations for you to come sweep up. You want to go first to see if you need me? Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. You can also just take two damage straight away, like to Xavier, to uh, do it I automatically. Might. That is not unlikely. Because I might have a way to bounce Xavier and go get a beat cop. You know what I mean? Oh, my. Right here. Boom. <laughs> uh, OK. One for Mind Over Matter, it's quick, or fast, as they say. So it's free. So I can use my uh, book stat in place of my fist stat. Nice, book nice. Book stat is a 5, plus 1, 6, plus 1, 7, courtesy of my Necronomicon and Professor Warren Rice. So it's a 7 test. I'm going to drop this wither into it. We were, it's Norman Withers with the wither. 8 to 4, that's why I put it in. <laughs> that's the one reason. It is really the one reason. The act requirement is when we take control of the Tablet of Dagon, which I assume is in one of these crates. Minus one. It's gone. Broke through that door using the power of my strong brain. You outthought the, the, the door. All right, second action. Let's go ahead and fingerprint kit here. Testing against a three. An eight on a three. That seems all right. You got to love those tests. In our Only thing. one way to fail. Don't fail me now. It's a zero. It's not a zero. That's not how you fail. Scooping up clues. Scooping up clues. We're going to cash in this shortcut to move for free. Oh, get out of town. The dining room. Oh, wait. Really? Do you want to wait? Because the reason wait. to yeah. clear the clues is to do this, right? 
If there are no clues, test three. Oh, and I still have mind over matter. Absolutely. I should be doing that. Yes, 100%. Because you can shortcut after you've done that. I can. So mind over matter is for the round? For the round, mm. yes. Yeah, that's who we should split. That's a great mind over matter right there. So and let's it, This see. is the galley uh, that we're testing. Break down the door, fingerprint kit, and now test three. Uh, if you succeed, we get a seal of minus free the four. crew and seal of minus four. Yeah. OK. So my test is currently a seven because of mind over matter. What's war and rice do? Someone's saying don't forget them. Seven to three. Oh, yeah. Discover the clue exhaust draw card. It's a, in your hand's fine. In your hand is fine. Because it's zero. So you play it and it's maybe fine. do the next thing. Yeah, it's fine. I like that a lot. It's fine. OK. Got Warren. And now we test this. Because what's on top now? Quantum Flux. Don't know what that does, but it sounds fun. I might, I might actually play it. Done. We have freed the crew. I'm going to grab that minus four. Seal some stuff. All right, so break down the door, fingerprint kit, and then uh, free the crew from those refrigerators. Now I will, I think, go ahead. I guess there's really no reason to waste the shortcut now, right? Because I can always play it as a fast action next turn. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. So yeah, I'm done. That's good. That's good for me. Nice. Well done. Unless well, there's a reason to be in the yeah. dining room. I don't think there is, is there? I don't think so. Not not that I'm aware of. Uh, all right, first action, mono a mono. Damage. Second action. That's so cool. Zoe's gonna move, take an attack of opportunity. So I'll put one on the guard dog, it'll do one back. <laughs> and then I'll take slash. one sanity. <laughs> Can we get it? Did we add the cultist? No, we did not. Thank you. Is it just one? Yeah. It's a cultist token. Uh, so Looking I'm for an audit on the bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Moving to the bridge. The bridge is filled with controls designed to operate this monstrosity of a vessel. There are sparks, sparks flying from a few corners, but most of the room seems operational. Uh, full speed ahead. The bridge has two clues, four shroud. Action. If you have restarted the engine... I'm going to take a seasick test real quick. OK. Technically, the minus four would be in there. I, if I pull the hood, it's a minus four. No, it wouldn't be in there. It wouldn't Never. be in there. We good. So I'm currently a five brain because I dunked miss on this and you to a move, three. Right? I did not move. This is the moment. Minus, minus two. two. Boom. Not seasick at all. I took a second to compose myself in the galley. David says, is the We Were Swinging joke from the I Got Knocked Down But I Get Up Again song? I forget the name. It's something ludicrous. It's no, actually, it's, no, it's an old country song literally called We Were Swinging. We Were Swinging. Show the she's as pretty as the angels when they sing. Exactly like that. That kind of, it sounds exactly like that. Another uh, farce. <laughs> Action on the bridge is if you have restarted the engine, which we have, you can test three book. If you succeed, add a gas mask to the chaos bag for the remainder of the scenario. Limit once per game. I don't want a gas mask. Well, the gas mask minus four, but if you succeed, you exhaust a deep one enemy. Deep one seems like the, like, big kahunas. I don't want a minus four. Just straight up minus four in the bag? Get victory, that out of victory here. Victory one. Well, we definitely, want to investigate we definitely it. want to investigate We definitely want that. Yeah, All right, so then, yeah, this is an experience grab, if you know what I mean. Wait a minute. So does that mean there's going to be deep ones that are going to, yes, That's it what they're does. trying to so summon we from want, the deep. So we, but we want, so we want the gas mask to then make the deep ones exhaust. Yep. Because they're going to be like big, scary monsters, right? Meantime, I'm just going to keep cruising. Yeah, I I'm, mean, yeah. I'm on this cruise boat. for? Get on the ship. First thing you do is you scope it out. You go around. You see where the coffee shops are. Get those fraps. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah. where you get the food. All right, we're going to keep moving. I'm going to move get as a my disease, last action. Some kind of disease, usually. Yikes. To the sun deck. That sounds fun. This is a place where passengers would normally come to soak up some sunshine and enjoy the view. Unfortunately, the current view is of the unsettling kind. Fight action, test physical X. X is the fight value of an enemy at your location. If you succeed, shuffle that enemy into the encounter deck. If you fail, move to the open water. So there's no clues, no victory. You can fight while you're here, but if you fail, you go to the open open water. Oh, no. Because uh, you get tossed overboard. Oh. But if you succeed, you toss them so overboard. So you can toss them overboard, yeah. Who's laughing now? Just don't Enemies. fail. All right, that's the end of my turn. Mark on YouTube real quick. So Mind Over Matter was only on, uh, it only does fist and foots, not uh, brain. So it actually didn't, didn't help me on that test, unfortunately. All right, you done with your turn? Done. Everything's going to stand up. Stand up. Put your hands up. 
Man, Zoe is a certain kind of not so helpful in this, it's just this awesome. scenario. Yeah, but no, you're doing. You're like. I mean, rolling. I'm doing my job. You're I'm going and clearing it out before Everybody's we get to it. Everybody's got to do their job. That's really the the role, the game of Arkham. You gotta know how to play your role. All right, get a uh, get a money, get a card. Dumon. Dumon. Seven of twelve. Seven of twelve. Here we go. All right, Cultus of the Deep. Nearest location. I'm in the location. Gain of money. Use the cross. Do a damage. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. If Norman had been drawing these enemies, I'd be bogged down in the engine room stuff. Luckily, I'm the one drawing them. You are. Yeah, it's it's very helpful. Ocean's Maw. Ma. If I if I uh, I have to, I might send Mr. Rook overboard if I fail here, and I'm not worried about that. Isn't that really what Arkham needs? Just tossing Mr. Rook overboard. It's too good. <laughs> CJ is saying, start the Taylor Swift album after watching one of your streams. Like it, dropping bombs left and right. LOL. Yeah, she did. She did really kind of go there, didn't she? Zoe's body count? I don't know. Minus two. Minus two. So my test is a four brain. Minus two is a two brain. That is a failure of Ocean's Maw, which means I will take one damage. Ooh, I wish I could take it on Mr. Rook and then attach Mr. Rook. I can't. It would kill him. Take one damage onto Professor Warren Rice. Attach an ally asset I control to open water. I nice. no longer control it. <laughs> he was dying anyway. Look at him go. Rook, you've done your job. Yeah, look, he's even got his hand out here for us to help him get out of the water. But we're not helping him. Off you go. Good luck. Don't you know. Search your deck for something that will get you out of trouble. And then, uh, yep, out we go. Bad cards are done, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cool, 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 cool. All right, strategy, strategy, strategy. Question. If I put damage on guard dog and it would get rid of the guard dog, do I still get to trigger the guard dog? Yes. Okay. That last I'm, damage will trigger it, yeah. I, you know, who knows? I might not do that, but it's possible. That's true, Legrock. Okay, so it's still in play, and I can't play another one. Yeah, what's up, Fade? Early stream indeed. It's Farcom Con 2020. Be a part of it. Go register. Farcom Con 2020. I just search it on Google every time I need to go find it. Uh, tons of Arkham content all over the weekend. This is some of the early, uh, we're one of the early shows. And it's going to be great. A lot of good content creators doing good things. Coin capsules. Yeah, Nick. I, I, we were th talking about making Chaos Bag tokens, and, and honestly, once we got the capsules, it was like the graphic design is good, the feel of them is good. I don't feel a need to like spend an extra 50 plus bucks on more Chaos Bag tokens. So we're, we haven't been making them. Coin capsules is all you need. We've got on our Learning Arkham uh, blog on the website, we've got the exact uh, coin capsules that we're using here. So you can find them. Yeah, this is a prototype of a new player board, uh, the Circle Undone inspired. It's awesome. Actually, it's my favorite one, officially. <laughs> Stamp it. I just love the way it looks, right? So I'm essentially, I'm just going to deal with enemies and keep moving around. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Well, you know, everything in my heart tells me to get these clues, but I'm not going to. You don't need them. I don't need them. It's not victory. There's no weird ability. It's literally only to trigger that. You don't even need to empty it to use that ability. You have a ton of clues. We're yeah. fine. Yeah, we you got clues in different area codes. So I'll probably, uh, let's see, I'll probably shortcut, then move to the cabins. Something bad's probably going to happen when I go there. And then or if, you can move up here. If so that, well, if you, you know, we're just we're going level by level, right? You clear the way. I, I sweep this. Well, I'm, You're I'm coming this. back around. Yeah, so then like, we'll meet. We'll high five. I'll go get this crate of goods. Go keep killing enemies. I feel like we want to be back together again, though. Now that I've explored, so like, like Raylo, keep, keep enemies off you. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, Join me. I'm with it. Um, how can you get? So I, I can go here first. How can you pot? Can you get there? Yeah, you just. Push. Oh, it comes around. Yeah, it just that goes around. Oh, it comes around. Okay, so I can just follow the leader on this then. Yeah. So technically, you have to go here first. This connects here, and then this is the loop. Okay. But literally, if I come here, you can just come here and meet me, and then if we're together, I can just deal with enemies, and we can roll because I'm not useful Don't to get that. clues. Right. Yes. I'm just your bodyguard at that point. Yeah, your bodyguard. So if I go like. So do you think you come here, I come here, we crate around, and then we go back up and get all the three crates? Yeah. Okay. Either direction, but yeah. Okay. 
All right. Let so me, then let I'm me, not going to waste my shortcut then. Yeah, let me go first. Yeah, go in this passenger cabin. Yeah, you do. That's right. Fire code. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to play an Enchanted Blade 3 experience version. When I do, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. My guard dog is going to soak both, and it's going to return fire. Very nice. Here. What did you play to do that? To the, the blade? I nice. just played the blade. Yeah, yeah. Out. Very good. Um, and then I'm just going to... Blade and survival knife. It's happened. You're officially here. Yeah. You've arrived. <laughs> plus two for the blade or plus one for the knife. That's a pretty easy decision. Well, I don't think I want to use the charges on the blade. No. Yet. It just does one extra. Oh, that heals. Oh, it's and the guardian one. It heals one. a horror and draws a card. It's so good. Ooh, wow. I didn't realize it was that good. That's your upgraded one. I forgot that you upgraded that. Yep. Nicely done. So... You don't have to empower it, right? I just think I'm I'm gonna punch. Well, I want to get there. This is you may spend it, so you don't have to use a charge to use the weapon. You can get plus two on a normal swing. Cool. And then if you succeed, yeah, yeah. you can decide. So yeah, I'll use my enchanted blade, fight action, um, and then I'm a four, five, six to the three, so I'm ahead by three. Six to three is good. I'm gonna go from there. It's a zero. Cold to the deep. That's a, I counted. I'm at six, a six body six count so dead. far. Uh, then my third action, I'm going to move here to the library. The library says the library is on the smaller side, but it's furnished with ornate sitting chairs, heavy bookcases, and a surprising selection of tomes regarding the occult. A plaque reads, special donations on loan from the Legrasse collection. He's, okay. he's who we're looking for. That seems good. Spend one clue per investigator. Test three book. I just saw a stat. Hold on. Test three book to learn more information about the cult. If you succeed, seal to minus five. Add a, t a tablet token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the scenario. Forced at the end of the round, if there are fewer than one clues per investigator on the library, add clues to the library until there are one clue per investigator on it. So it auto it generates clues forever because it's a library. We could read there for the rest of our lives. But it has victory five. Now wait just a minute. Yep, that's what made me do a double take. So it comes no, in with wait six. just a minute. If you can finish the game the same turn you clear it. We now have only one thing to do this entire game. Game five Make victory. sure that this happens. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. I'm about to meet you in the middle. Okay. Meet in the middle. Of that cold Georgia. <laughs> Man, we're really representing Oklahoma today, yep. aren't we? Every reality TV show that has an Oklahoma on it is that type. Embarrassing. Yeah. No, nah, I wouldn't say that. But they're just like very country. Yeah. Which is not. I was raised in the country. I was raised on a chicken farm. Technically. I mean, 50, 40 chickens? I don't know. Is that That's a lot more than most people have. That's true. <laughs> Got eggs every morning and evening? Not me personally. Sometimes. Jonathan did the majority of the, the barn chores. Thoth says in the Akbar voice, it's a trap. <laughs> it's the best kind of trap. Okay, so we got a no stone unturned. That doesn't really interest me. Um, I think you're just going to the old passenger cabins. 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 We're taking on water cabins. Okay. Made in the middle. First action, move. Second action, move. Third action, the thing. I want, to, I want to have a spare action remain. Now, if they hit me like the deck launch in theater for actions get worse, uh, I want to hold that shortcut, you know? I, I think you can save it. I'm going to wait. Move one. Move two. Passenger cabin what's, what's the flavor text? A long hallway stretches as far as your eyes can see with countless doors on each side leading to rooms for the various passengers. Uh-oh. Lots of text here. When it's revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist and spawn it here. Enemy gains after it's defeated. You have freed passengers from their guard. Seal minus four and add a cultist token to the chaos bag. Search the encounter deck and discard pile. What's the, the easiest cultist we've got? So there's the cultist of the deep, who's that, that thing we keep talking about. There's the sea singer, who only has two mm, health. There's that the, would be aloof, too. The order enforcer. Two cultists, yeah. It's got hunter retaliate, which is a bummer. Uh, I like the aloof sea singer. Yeah, I think that's fine. If you, as long as you can deal two, with it. Two damage is like, yeah, it's what cakewalk. I'm so cool, lady. 
Okay, C singer on. From discard. So then she seals. We'll grab the plus one. Yeah, sure. Take a look. Seal that token. And then, then my third thing is going to be testing my book. No clues there either. Bummer. All right, let's search this crate. Let's see what's going on here in this crate. Third action. Testing, Testing three. three book. I'm on a five, six, seven book. Success. What happens? If you succeed, an investigator at your location, continue on. May place. place one clue on creative goods. Then if there are two clues, flip it over and draw it. Oh, so it's going to be one of those. We've got to keep doing it forever. All right, so that's the end of my turn. Move, move, crate. All right. End of round. End of round. No enemies, so that's good. Draw a card. Oh, no. Another kit. Gain of money. And that's it. Then we go up to the uh, Doom. Did you draw a weakness or something? No, nope. it was the Ono. I drew my beat cop. Ready all your uh, business? Oh, man. You don't have a way to put it back in the deck or anything, do you? Not that I know of. Oh, no. Your entire that's right. plan. Back cards? Yeah. Clap of Thunder. Test three brain. If I fail, I can choose an icon type and do that whole thing. Let's just look. Skip enemy phase Doom. What's that about? Oh, at the call, I called to the crate. Yeah, we got to do this thing. Uh, at the end of the enemy phase, place one doom on each crate of goods for each ready cultist enemy that's there. So that would be both of these. Oh, perhaps it's worse than we expected. So it's eight, nine, ten. Is it on the crate themselves? On each crate, yeah, for each so ready cultist. There's another one up there on the top right. There's not a ready cultist here, though. At that, at that location. Why did this one get one? Because, oh, there's not a cultist there anymore. You're right. Good. You killed it long ago. I'm and done. then Sea Singer, this thing counts as a doom as well. So we've got one, two, plus, so we're at 10 of 12 until the Sea Singer and the Crate of Goods is gone. Very cool. Nice mechanic. Uh, I'm at a four, five brain to a three. What's the magic number here? Got the old clap of thunder there. Five brain to a three. Uh, what happens? How bad is it? I have to get rid of all the cards with a single icon, and it's bad. Is it real bad? I mean, I'd, it's at least three cards, no matter how I slice May it. May as well start spending then. I would say plus three is probably pretty safe, right? Six is gone, four is gone. You've got a minus five lurking. There's a minus four, and then everything else is good. So if you're three up, you've got two, three tokens that fail you. Did we put a gas mask in? I think we did not. Yeah, we did. So that'd be four tokens that fail at a plus three. Let's uh, make it a, I may as well. What a journey it's been already. Man, you got so many cards. You don't have more than eight, do you? No. Uh, I'll make it a. I'll throw my mirror because I'm not going to play it. Yeah, we're not going to take damage. Four, this game. five. I'm a six to a three. Oh, you found your cross. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, baby. You Plus don't you wish that was an attack? It would be murder in time. Your bad card. Zoe, that always is just the problem. Sealed doors. Attached to my location. Literally sealed doors. Get it? It's funny. Hmm? Uh, you got to test for uh, fist to get in or leave. Hmm. This impacts our plan. Hmm, mediumly. Yeah, ready everything, etc. So we added Doom. We drew our two cards. Now we're back at it. Well, what are you thinking, man? I'm just looking. Try to break that door down or... You know, any other thing you might do, I guess. You want to start and see what you get? Let's do it. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to test three. Now, that's that maybe is not the right thing, because assuming that this does work, I can't leave until a, a or I can take two damage mm. to leave, which I'm not that into. Now, you can just take two, right? 
I could definitely just take two. Let me just go. Or And you could put it on Xavier, or you could test for uh, Fist. Up to you. Let's do this. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm just going to take the two damage. Okay. Yeah. Put it on Xavier. And then I'm going to... I have to do that to move in, right? That's my move. No, that is a separate... Anything okay, so connected that, can trigger it, yeah. Then I'll move. Second action, move in. Then I'm going to engage. Third action, engage. I'll use my cross to do damage. Yep. Easy peasy. Yeah. That's it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Look at you go. And Survival Knife's going to ace her. Do some work. Or I guess you might kill Xavier, huh? I don't know. Two free damage later is really good. It is really good. You I think him, I just... You got him rolled up. Okay, so first action for Norm. We're going to take a, a, a test on these cra this crate. Seven minus three is four is my success. Uh, Get it. Success metric. A minus five is going to be the, uh, the opposite of what we want there. So it's not going to happen. Second action. Let's try that again. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Perfect, it's fine, it's fine. It's a good time to draw it, good time to draw it. Auto fail. I kind of knew that was coming. <laughs> I, I felt like that one was coming, actually. He got seasick and he passed I, out in the yeah, cabin. I felt like that one, yeah, I think the... There's something in this crate, though, I swear. There's, I can feel there's it. something. I, there's been six false I'm bottoms. I'm him, like, <laughs> trying to get it, he just can't get in. All right, what's the hood? Minus two, if you succeed, you either deal damage to a cultist enemy or remove a doom from the cultist enemy. Damage to your cultist enemy. Boom! Boom! Norman strikes at the very last second. Boom! Baka, baka. Get out Choo -choo. the way. Get out the way. Okay, boom. Two clues on. Create a goods. Let's see what you get. If there are two clues on it, flip it over and draw it. The Tablet of Dagon. We did it. Take control of it. Your location is plus one shroud for this test on an investigate to move a deep one to a connecting location. So I can I can tell the deep Tablet ones to get out of here. All right, okay, find, we got it. Find it first. Objective, when you take control of Tablet of Dagon, advance. We're going to act <laughs> thought to be <laughs> in our grasp. Yeah, please, sorry. Uh, everyone's being very funny on I chat. I didn't know so of uh, losing Thoth them. says, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, are you serious, America? <laughs> you have found a strange tablet in one of the crates marked with Lagrasse's name. The writing on it is some indecipherable and forgotten language. Although there's nothing to indicate it at first, the powerful aura that surrounds the object makes it clear to you that this is what the cult has been searching for. As you take possession of the artifact, the ship rocks to one side for a moment. At the same time, a ghastly noise reverberates through the ship, and you realize that it's the sound of metal being torn asunder. Terrifying creatures have begun to board the ship through these openings they've made. Shuffle the encounter deck discard pile and each encounter card from the deep ones and sinking ship encounter sets into the encounter deck. Oof. Exhaust each deck one location. That's all the uh, first floor, I guess. All yep. those, yeah. See you, Vengeful Hound. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Not so vengeful now, are you? Just sitting down Spawn there. Spawn the set aside a colossal servant monster from the depths enemy at open water. Uh oh. Uh, I'm not even gonna read that. I'm we'll gonna, get there in a minute. It's too scary. Advance the agenda to agenda three A. Punish the interlopers. Advance to Act Three A after that. So we'll this advances to three A. Jonathan Redcarts and this is a custom game. Yeah, custom scenario from Mythos Busters. They designed this 2019 last Gen Con, I guess, is what it was. Agenda 3A, punish the interlopers. They have it. Don't let them escape. The cult knows what you've found, and they are desperate to get it back. Meanwhile, the creatures that have been unleashed are out of control, tearing apart anything that gets in their way. Exhaustion locations do not ready during the upkeep phase. Forced, at the start of each enemy, at the start of the enemy phase, discard each cultist enemy in the same location as a deep one enemy. Then move each unengaged cultist enemy one location towards the investigator that controls Tablet of Dagon. So we got a scrum going on. So the so, deep ones are eating the cultists, yep. and the cultists are trying to come to get us. That's right. And then we advance to Act 3A, flee the ship. So there's Act 3A that we're not going to. There's flee the ship. I'm reading now. <laughs> now that you have the tablet, you must take it out of reach, escaping from the ship before the cultists find you and the ship is pulled into the depths. Sun deck gains, which is that top one, uh, 
two actions, test six physical or six book to use raw strength or intelligence to lift the lifeboat into position. Any investigator may spend a clue to lower the difficulty of this test by two. I'm going to go rock this it, test. If successful, put the set-aside lifeboat into play. Get to Ob the boat. Objective, find and complete the objective on lifeboat. Get to the boat. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Um, okay. Well, this is interesting. Was that your third action? Yeah, that was it. Okay. So end of round. Uh, first thing, enemies. Okay. So the Colossal Servant, real quick, I'll just read it. Uh, seven health per investigator, five strength, four foot, monster deep one elite, massive, and engage with everything at his location, alert. I don't know what that means. If you fail an evasion and attacks, just like retaliate okay. for evades, yeah. Force at the beginning of each investigator phase, reveal a random token from the chaos bag. If a skull, mask, tablet, gas, or, uh, tentacle, or fail symbol is not revealed, move Colossal Servant to the location with the most investigators. If there, oh. If there are no investigators at the same location as Colossal Servant, move it to the open water. Oh, that's why we want those things in so, there. So, Colossal Servant, if he's not at a location with one of us, he moves to the open water. Mm -hmm. So, basically, we want to reveal those weird symbols so that he just stays in the water. But if we don't reveal a weird symbol, then he goes to our location. Okay. Um, so, we ready everything. Enemies go. At the start of the enemy phase, discard each cultist. This is the same location as the deep one. Currently zero. None. Then uh, move each engage, each unengaged cultist one location towards the investigator that controls the tablet. There are none of those. No so we, that, we check that off. He doesn't hunt or anything. Nope. But at the beginning of our turn we'll, is when we'll reveal a token. Correct. And then we can test six to get the lifeboat up here on the sun deck, which seems to be plan number one. Dude, and you got that massive uh, evasion stuff going on, right? Oh, yeah. There's so much evasion. So he hits, different you evade him, then we move, and he goes back to the deep. Let's not sleep on this library. Okay, that's victory five. If we crack this library, the rest of our campaign, we're going to be cruising like uh, superheroes. Five experience. But, but I, f I feel like we need to see what the lifeboat does first to see how we get out of here. But victory five. I see that. <laughs> but like, it, it won't matter if, because it, it after, at the end of the round, so we, we have to be able to actively leave the scenario for that to be scored. Yeah, that's right. But I got to at least clear four to get it ready. Yeah, but we also need to see what the boat does. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck proving it. Okay. So uh, let's ready everything. Yeah. Anything that needs to be ready. Now, I also have the tablet, and, and I can investigate a location to move a deep one enemy to a connector. So I can, I can shove the colossal thing away from us. Good, and we need, that's why we need to be in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we should keep, keep cruising. All right. Okay, now we've readied. Everything's readied, right? Enemies win. Even Mr. Rook. Let's ready Mr. Rook. Now Just, we gain we money and card. He's over here with the colossal servant now, seeing things that he never thought he would see. Ever. Ever. Okay, let me draw a card. There's a free shortcut. That's very nice. Then we uh, gain a money. There's also, let's not sleep on two victory on this Colossal Servant. You want to do 14? Can you, I, I mean, can so you churn out the 14? The thing is, if it shows up and it's massive, it engages all of us, right? That's right. So if it shows up against me enough? Well, I don't think it engages you for the, for the cross. I think, I think it skips the standard engagement stuff, and it's considered to be engaged at all times. But I do like Zoe, like, crossing, you know, she's, like, showing her cross to the There's the no engagement one. step, right? They, you can't use Zoe's cross on a massive thing, is that right? Somebody tell me. Cause yeah, it won't trigger, yeah. The thing is, like, if he shows up and I have my, like, free damage cards, you know what I mean? Not, not even this, just in my hand, free damage card. You start turning, huh? It, I might get there. Well, I'd be very impressed by that. It depends you. on how long this takes us. I'd but be super impressed. 14? 14 damage? Massive doesn't engage. Bummer. How many, uh, how many does Dynamite do? Three? Yeah. So you got three in the pipe there. I'm just saying, I got... Wait, I got Xavier's worth two. So you're already at five damage. Let's just say I got four or five damage in hand as well. So that's ten damage. That's what so I'm, yeah, I'm saying. You a couple I mean, times and you're done. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And, the, and the, the, I have the Enchanted the Blade. The Blade's six a turn. You know, I got tons of health. I mean, I can let this survival knife do some work. Let's, I mean, I kind of want to get... Anyways. You can go all Silas Marsh on this thing. So, I... You had a lot. First had, thing, start of the turn. We gotta do this. Hold on. Okay, we haven't. We haven't. Have we done everything? Bad cards. We, we, got bad we cards. do a card. Yeah, we got to add Doom. Doom on. Doom on. Bad cards. Clap of thunder. That okay, old. That's a classic. That old old bag. Chestnut here. Um, I've got a. I've got. I've got something. You know, if you want it. 
Do you need a bonus? Let me see if I even need it. Worst that can happen? You think about that, I'm gonna go hit the bathroom. All right, I'll be here. Yeah, <laughs> dude thought, that is so correct. That is so funny. What's this glove Do 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 do. All right, let me just look at my icons. I can't, <laughs> can't discard fist. And brain and foot. I could discard book. I only have one book in hand. That's the right call. Absolutely the right call. So we'll clap a thunder when Steven gets back. How's everyone doing out there? This is a fun scenario. I, I like the scenarios that basically have uh, kind of interesting location setups with lots of locations and really makes you feel like you're in that space. And this definitely feels like a cruise ship. Yeah, LeGrag, I, I have seen the two doom threshold on the uh, agenda. I'm not sure how many agendas there are. Is there a four? I don't know. There just seems like a bunch of threes. Yeah, that, that seems like the uh, end of the game, whatever that is. Jonathan, uh, this is from Mythos Busters. It's on their website. Uh, there's someone knocking. Hopefully we'll get that in a second. Hey, Steven, there's someone knocking. Hopefully he can hear me. He can hear me. He got it. Uh, ben says, doing well. Can't wait to see tomorrow's stream as well. Yeah, that'd be cool. We're going to check out UFS. Um, that's a, a long-standing game that's worth looking at. Do you want to hear? Uh, sure. Why not? Right yep. Brett's saying, I'm so lost, but it looks fun. I get the concept, just not all the mechanics. Going to have to go watch the beginning of it. Yeah. We did uh, some actually, if you're brand new, the very beginning of Corona, um, we upgraded our camera setup since then, so it's better. But uh, we did Forgotten Age, and we did. I was brand new. So Steve was kind of guiding me through that whole thing, and we walked through what to buy and how to play and basic rules and stuff. That would be a good place to start. That, that would be like late March, I think, is when we started that. Muchas gracias. So someone pointed this out. It's relevant. Okay, did we fail? No. Do something wrong? But the agenda 3A here has a doom threshold of two. Is that the end of the game? I there are no fours in this stack here. Oh. So that shortcut's gonna pan out here. So we gotta get to the deck and the boat, right? Is that right? The start of the enemy phase, yeah? Taylor Day, yeah. I'm so cool that yeah. So what you're saying is we have precisely two turn, no, n this turn to win? That's what you're saying? That's impossible. No, that's not. If, first, we'll see if we get the monster. If you do get the monster, you're going to evade the monster and move one. You have a shortcut, right? Yeah. So then you're going to need a shortcut up mm -hmm. either way. And then you'll take the test for six book. You'll spend some clues to make it uh, zero. And you'll basically ace the, the ship test. And I have just enough actions to get here. And if the boat takes an action that's physical to like toss it in the water, mm -hmm. that's going to be my job. OK. Um, now, I am doing this clap of thunder. I, I'm ahead by two. This got all serious all of a sudden. Yeah. Minus one, so I pass. Nice. And then you get a bad card. So we'll see what this is first. Swept away, attached to the current agenda. As an additional cost to enter an exhausted location, we've got to test three foot, uh, discard some stuff if we fail. When the agenda would advance, discard swept away. OK. So then that's the end. That's the end of the bad stuff, yeah. Everything's readied. Everything's ready. We've gained our money. We drew our cards. Yeah. Start of the turn, we're going to trigger Colossal Servant. So we draw one, right? I'm going to let you do the honors. Norm. OK. Norm's a good gambler. He did. In so that, let's uh, reveal a symbol. Club. Superstar does not count. That's a bummer. You should, the superstar should count. Who designed this mess? All right. At the Who's beginning of the investigator of phase, we're it's a superstar, guys. Move the servant sign. to the location with the most investigators. So he moves here. But the, that's actually good, because then you can use the mist to get a, uh, a free move. That, that's actually, it's basically like a move, I guess. You're right. It's fine. Not wrong it's at all. It's totally just fine. OK. Uh, so 
starts with you, man. I think you try to evade it. And you're just moving up uptown. I think the first thing I should do is shortcut you out of here. Wouldn't an evade mean I can just move? Well, it's just going to save you an action in case we need it for the inevitable lifeboat. Because I can only play a shortcut on my turn. So if I move out of this location, then you're going to have to do action, action to get here. If I shortcut you now and shortcut me from hand, then... Oh, you have two shortcuts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So evade, move. I'll shortcut myself here. That's, I didn't know you had two, two actions Definitely. on that lifeboat. Send, send me cruising. Send him to the boat. Okay. Uh, first things first, let's try to evade. Wait, Use... you're going to toss me first? Yeah, we're going to toss you first. Toss me to the library. We'll toss you with this one, since we can. Ooh, time warp. That's good. Good card. Okay. Well, I suppose... I suppose I could... Uh... I suppose I could just shortcut here, right? without using the evade on miss. Because miss is basically an action to move. Shortcut, you, if you shortcut, are you out of that room without? Yeah. Oh yeah, get out shortcut of there. Shortcut myself. We had the perfect plan. He kidnapped himself. Shortcut, boom. She kidnapped herself, dude, you said it yourself. See, we had a shortcut right to the library. Now I'm gonna start gathering so when clues there's no, so we can get the victory five. When there's no one here, he goes back. Uh, immediately. Yep. Forced, if there are no investigators at the same location as cloth servant, oh, move it to the open water. He couldn't find us. I think you just boating, dude. If this doesn't end the game, that's what I don't know. People are saying that this might not end the game when this flips, but like, we have to act like it does, right? Yeah, we do have to act like it does, but also, if the game ends and this location is empty, oh, at the end of the round you refill it. How is this possible? Oh, we'd have to see, okay. All right, all right, I'm gonna give up my dream. This is annoying. All right, first action, let's move. Boom. Because it costs two actions to do the this thing. What's that? Test six book. That's how we get the boat. Oh, yeah. But you can spend a clue to make it minus two. I'm doing that. So you can make it a four. All right, let's boat on. Spending a clue. Four. It is a test of, ooh, hold on. There's no free way to get a card, right? Why do you need a card? Well, if I had this time warp in hand, this would be a super safe test. Hmm. Well, at worst, though, like my turn is move there, use my two actions to get the boat, mm -hmm. and you make it minus two again with the second clue. Okay. And it's physical, and I should be able to pass that very handily. Okay, I'm gonna give it a shot then. So it's currently a test of six minus two, four to my book stat of five, six, seven. Four is the magic number. You got one book? Eight. Eight to four. Is the minus five still in there? Mm. It is. Yep. Nine to four. Nine to four. Here we go. Big zeros. Consider it passed. What do we do? Get the lifeboat. Lifeboat. Uh, set it into play. Find and complete an objective on lifeboat. OK. Set it into play. Wait a minute. Set the lifeboat location into play. It's the, oh. It only attaches to the cargo room. We have an issue. Now, one way to do this. Open gates. Well, yes, but the other way to do this is if we get an enemy, we can intentionally fail that test and go in the deep water. Oh. Can we always go in the deep water? Is there anything? If you fail, move to the open water. We would have to have an enemy at that location, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, or we just have to run down there. So if there, and what is, does that connect to? Yeah. Ooh, dude, the colossal thing is an enemy. That's right. So he'll come to us. We can fail a test, or I can. I mean, I can fail a five if I needed to. He'll retaliate for two and two, go to the water, swim over here, get on the lifeboat, and get out of here. But that's going to advance. So if it's, uh, if it's the end, it's the end, right? That's right. So you're going to start getting clues off the library? Just kidding. I mean, I think I just move here, right? Move three times. 
I would do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. But if you get... Oh, that's actually perfect. Because if you get an enemy, you'll just toss yourself overboard. Mm -hmm. And you don't need me there. That's correct. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start. Right. I'm We're going to go one, two, on three. <laughs> Moving to the galley. <laughs> <laughs> and hope we have a chance. Okay. Maybe something good will happen. All right. Okay. Enemies? Any enemies that need to hunt or move? Vengeful Hound is sitting there looking like an idiot. Now, I am going to have to move through there. There are worse things, right? Oh, I'll deal with them. Okay. He's vengeful. All right. Draw a card. Gain a resource. And then uh, we go to the end of the round. I see everything has readied, et cetera. Yep. Advance Agenda 3A, below the waves. The ship's ship tilts to one side for a moment, emitting a terrible groan as more water rushes into its wounds. Exhaust a ready location with the lowest possible deck number. Okay. Deck two. Yours. This one. This one. Passenger cabins. If all locations are exhausted, each investigator is defeated and suffers one physical trauma. Otherwise, flip this agenda back to 3A. Okay. So literally... Oh, it's just going to keep sinking. If there's no exhausted locations, do we lose? No locations yeah, we can't exhaust. Yeah, we're defeated exhaust. and take a physical. We've got so much time then. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six turns. Six doom flips. So we need to know what that lifeboat's about. Also, this says pray uh, Norman Withers only, apparently. So it doesn't read only. It actually doesn't, unless it was errated. Vengeful Hound, it just says Norman Withers is prey. So I think it would engage Zoe, unless it's been errated to say Norman Withers only. Okay. So, I mean, I'm probably going to go investigate that boat either way. We got to see what's on the boat because if it's doable fairly easily, it's all about the library for me. So if you can do the lifeboat objective, that's the yeah. last thing, and I can get these clues, we're in we're in business. Bad cards. Uh, yeah, Doom on. No, we already advanced it. Okay, on. yeah. So there are other deep ones, right? Yeah. Okay. Order yeah, buddy. enforcer. Prey. Most clues. Hunter retaliate, etc. When he engages, I'll use my cross and do one. Okay. Classic move. Really. Classic move. You can also not do one and just hit him with the blade. Don't sleep on that. Call of Riley. Hey, I've got your miss. I have better. Uh, put it in my threat area. When I would move while there's a deep one enemy in play, I must move towards the nearest deep one enemy or take one horror. Wow. After I engage a deep one enemy, discard Call of Riley. That's awesome. Truly awesome. What's it do? Sorry. Uh, basically, if I do a move action, I've got to move towards a deep one or take one horror. So I'm like... Attracted to them. If I engage one, then it's discarded. So once I find a deep one, then I'm cool. Okay. That was our bad cards. We're back yeah. around to the top of the round. Draw a token. You might get the deep one immediately. Yeah. Yeah, Sage Sand. This really is a fantastic scenario. Well done to the Mythos Busters. Yes. Zach Magas saying, what if whoever isn't on the boat dies? Would you take five trauma for five XP? Absolutely. I would take a trauma for five XP every um, day. Uh, not even. Don't even I mean, have I that. did it. I did it with arcane research, all the time with Jim. <laughs> Twice I've hit the superstar in this draw. All right. Twice. So the colossal servant goes to the location of the most investigators. I think he should go to you. Yeah, let's go to me. I want to jump in, man. Now wait. That's. It depends on what's in the lifeboat because I want to stay dangerously close to this library. Well, let me go see what's in the lifeboat. Okay. Yep. You ready? Good idea. Yeah, and then I can miss if I need to. All right. So. This guy's here. First thing I'll do is play mono a mono. Mm. Just do a damage. Yeah, paying dividends, <laughs> man. I love it. No tests needed. Uh, then I'll move, and I think he engaged with me, right? Yeah, we're seeing that happens, right? Yeah. All right. Vengeful Hound. Uh, I gain a money. My I cross away is gone too. Yeah, that's right. Chat. Thank you. Cross is already exhausted. That was very handy, actually. So, I'm just gonna enchanted blade this cat. Or we'll just just take the damage. We gotta see that lifeboat. Uh, you know what? I can just use Brother Xavier and do two to it. <laughs> so did you do action? First action is mono, 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 move. Mono. Second action is move. Third action is go to the cargo room, right? I'm not going to get there. But so it won't matter then. I wouldn't waste your... Waste but here's it. what I like, though. I'm going to move to the cargo room, mm -hmm. put them both on Xavier. He goes, and we'll do two damage back to it. 
You don't want to save that for the, uh, you don't want to finally kill that servant? The big it's, deep it's one? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, he says. <laughs> I want him on my discard pile in case I reshuffle. Okay, cool. Uh, it's gone, and then this goes away. It's for you. Thanks. I'm going to put that one back in my pile, too. I appreciate that. And uh, that's my turn. Mono, mono, move, move. Well, now I don't know what to do. I'm, uh, Zach, I'm going to start working on the library. Don't hate me for it. Oh, that's fine. You do you, homie. You're going to mist? Mm-hmm. I'm going to mist, and then I'm going to fingerprint kit, and then I'm going to keep, yeah, keep it's, reading. It's fine, because we'll see what's on the boat. Yeah, this we'll next go time. next time. And we got plenty of locations. Okay, so let's go mist on big boy. Um, and this will hurt a lot if I fail. It's four to a seven right now. If you yeah. fail an evasion test, nothing happens. It's right? got alert. Oh, boo bitty boo. They thought of this. Minus three is not a fail. Seven to four is a good test for me. So I will take the move, free move from the light. He from goes the back miss. to the depths. He's back to the depths. Second action. Let's do a fingerprint kit test. Yep. Five, six, seven to three. Success. Boom. Uh -oh. Then third action, we're going to emergency cash Whoop. to put four charges on this fingerprint kit. Oh my, what in the world? I found the cash in the library, man. It's in if the crate all along. we get the 5 along. XP from that? We're getting the 5 XP. It's going to be wild. We're getting the 5 XP. What I can do with 5 XP, I have to go back through my cards. I, I might finally get that agency backup in here. That agency backup's going right in, yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> end of the round, right? Everything readies, everything yeah. hunts. No cultists in sight because I've been dealing with them all around. All around. Gain of money, draw a card. Gain of money. Man, we've got money in different area codes. Yeah, I'm ready to rumble. And then technically, I think call goes away. After you engage a deep one enemy, discard call of Riley. I engaged yeah, a deep it, one it, enemy, right? It definitely right? engaged you. But I didn't engage it, so I wonder if it's the same problem as Zoe's Cross. Mm, maybe. It might be the same problem as Zoe's Cross. Chat will catch us on it. Yeah, does this count? Uh, did the call of Riley go away? I don't know how Massive works exactly because we have the crutch of having a ton of Arkham players with us all the time, so it's really handy. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to keep going. Bad cards? Yeah, we can keep doing bad cards. Doom yeah. on. Bad cards. Out of air. Revelation, if, you're not at an, if you are not at an exhausted location, out of air gains surge. I am. If you are at an exhausted location, test three foot. If you fail, take a direct damage and put out of air into play in your threat area. Force at the end of your turn, take two damage if you are at an exhausted location. Force if you're not at an exhausted location, discard out of air. So, testing foot. Three foot to my two foot. Two. Three foot to my two foot. Three. Call would not go away. Okay, thank you. Thoth. And so I would technically take a hoard off from that because I moved not towards the nearest deep one. All, yeah, no, because that was a move, technically. So I'm going to put one on Professor Rice. I got way too many cards, so I'm going to actually drop three cards into this to make myself a five foot to three, and we'll see what we get. We only refill the library if there's less than two clues, Fireblade. Scored it. Nice. Okay, hit. I'm not out of air. Seemed important. Call of Riley. Oh no. Again. Another one. What's Too it do? Too horror to move away from a uh, deep one. Now, if he stays in the open water, I'm okay because then I can just, you know, move towards him. Uh, that was my bad card. You and got your bad card. Isn't there a weird thing like exhausted locations have a problem? No. Okay. I don't have to move into them weirdly, or there's nope. not a weird card sitting around anywhere. This is somewhere in my head that was happening. First thing you do is grab a token out of that bag, though. Okay, this is for the big, big scary monster. Zach, check out attempt number three on that rhino. Oh, no, attempt number seven on rhino. <laughs> attempt seven. <laughs> Here comes the superstar. No. Okay, so he's you want to come going to, me? to you, probably? Well, you got to take a thing to... 
I mean, I can Riley rile him up again. But what do you have to do to move from him? I just wouldn't move away. Or maybe I would at the end. We really need to see what's in that lifeboat. Get to the boat. I agree. Get to the boat. You don't have any fancy ways to move away from him. I'm not in a good position to deal with him. All right, give him, give him to me. Here he comes. Ah! Him <laughs> <storm right. north>. <laughs> 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 Got him. All right, you want me to go first and see what we're dealing with here? Yeah. I'm going to move into the lifeboat. The lifeboat seems sturdy enough as long as you can keep it clear of creatures from the deep. Mm. Four shroud, three clues per investigator. This is bad. We have more clues somewhere? Yeah. Victory two. Force after lifeboat is revealed. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a deep one enemy is discarded. Spawn it here. Objective, there are no enemies at this location, and each undefeated investigator is at this location, and investigators may spend two clues per investigator as a group for resolution one. Ugh. I'm yep. getting that five experience. <laughs> um, you're going to have to figure out the math on how that even works. I'm going to... I'm going to move this up. We're going to have the lifeboat. I'm here. So I'm discarding cards so I get a deep one. Here, put our put our holiday, our limited edition holiday ones on there. Ooh, why haven't we been playing with these? Because you can't buy them. Yeah, but that makes people pay attention when we say they're not <laughs> going to be available all the time. These are insane. I forgot we did these. I wasn't an Arkham You're player when we did You're a marketing genius. Woo. These did are... I draw my card? Have we mm. done that, all that stuff yet? We should have. I'm getting a deep one. I definitely did not draw this last time. I'm discarding until I get a deep one. Ah, oh, here it is. Destroyer from the Depths. He looks creepy. Humanoid monster deep one. Force, when the enemy phase begins, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. Draw each copy of Taking on Water, discarded by this effect. He enters play. He's engaged with me, so I gain money. I'll spend the money on Zoe's Cross, doing an automatic damage. He's got one health left. Steven. That's it? He's... I mean, Zoe's ready. Yeah, dude. You're so ready. You've been ready the whole time. <laughs> Okay, so you're saying that after it's revealed, okay, if there are no ready enemies at this location and each undefeated is at this location, we may spend four clues as a group. So we don't even have to clear this. We just need to spend, but it has victory two. Oh, that's as, almost as good as victory five. About half as good. If you had open gated down here, it would be awesome. So the problem is if you clear it, you have to also be able to get here. I know. So what it would look like is... You need a shortcut. Well, a colossal servant would have to be here. I would... Take two, then I would fail a test against Colossal Servant to go to the open water. Then I would shortcut open water. Hmm, this is the thing that drops you in the water. Um, the sun deck. You fight in the sun deck room. I'd have to sit up there. Yeah, that's a problem. He'd have to end up at the sun deck. And now, then there's no way. Yeah, there's no way for you to get there's there. There's no way. How disappointing. Aggravating. Um... Now, if there was an enemy that ended up up here that wasn't the Colossal Servant... Those one things end up at the nearest crate, so you could put it there. Oh, right on. So you investigate, but you'd have to investigate, move up. Investigate, shortcut, fail fight, shortcut? second action. I can. Potentially, this could get shuffled back in in a second. So you'd have to investigate, shortcut, fail the fight, end up in the deep water, but then even from the deep water... Shortcut again. You'd have to shortcut again somehow. And then get to the lifeboat. And then get to the lifeboat. Yeah. If you pull that off, I mean, coup de gras. It's the only thing I care about. But if you technically be a double shortcut. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, you couldn't get there. Mm -mm. Is there any way to get faster? Good, good, good questions. Good questions. Where'd those open gates go? Uh, they, they're unnecessary. <laughs> hey, lifeboat, I couldn't get an open gate on lifeboat. I, if I had dropped it in cargo room, it could have been okay. This is like the only scenario that might actually be worthwhile. Yeah, because technically with the amount of time we have, you could like get down here, play a gate, the go gates. back up, play the gate, clear it, come back down. But we don't have gates, so that's not even... Not, we cannot get those five points. Yeah, astral travel would work for sure. That would make it happen. All right, so we got to give up on that dream. It's literally come clear this, get the two points, and get out of here. Mm -hmm. That's exactly where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to look through this crate of goods, just see what's in there. Maybe it's something that could teleport me. It's not. I know it's not. Okay. 
We all know it's not. We all know it's but not. But I'll let you dream. We all know it's not. I dreamed a dream. I need to get this collar really out of here. Um, okay, so my first thing, I've got to... Uh, How do you get rid of those things? I have to engage a deep one. Mm. But should I can't. I, should I leave this guy here? Well, by the time I'm there, you know, I'm not going to move anymore, so it won't matter. Mm. It does. Too, it's going to be too horror when I move away from a deep one. Oh, you can just take the two, right? Yeah, but it, yeah, it'd be every time. So I take the two, then he goes back to open water, then I can move towards open water for free. Yeah, but then if he comes out again, I can engage him yeah. instead of you, so you can get down to me. In the lifeboat, huh? Yeah, but then when he's he when you get here, you can then evade him again and bounce him back to the water, and we can get out of here. He doesn't he doesn't bounce when I evade him. He bounces when there's nobody there. Mm. Which we don't want him on the lifeboat. You gonna get those clues? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. But I think what I can do instead though is punch this guy, move here. That mm -hmm. way, if he engages, he engages me here. Then can you just move it move it out? Then when you come down here, you'll evade into the boat. I'll evade into here, and we need to clear that quickly. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what play, what kind of play we've got here. Oh, I can technically move towards. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So, also, if you really want to get greedy, I do want to get greedy. Your pathway kit. You could go this way, across the bridge. Fingerprint kit the bridge to gain a point. Mm-hmm. And then loop around. Yeah, that needs to happen for sure. And so I have to move towards the nearest deep one to not take damage. So if I miss here, take two, because he's still here until uh, the force stability triggers. So then move here, second action, fingerprint kit that. Then he pops up uh, again, likely. Now you're going to end up here. Mm -hmm. So do you drop him there? Yeah. And then what do you do? I start working. You start. You want to start chomping on? I got time. Can you take two and two pretty consistently for a couple of? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play guard dog. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay. Are we now on killing the big monster plan? It depends on how long it takes us. I'm definitely on clear that location, clear this location. Okay. And score two, three, four, five, five points, seven if we clear the monster. Whew, big scary monsters. Well, I know what my turn is. Do you? Are we good? We're good. Go ahead. OK. Part of me just wants to play Premonition now. Do you have any big tests that you're going to need to take this turn? None, right? You know who I am. I know, yeah. You don't even test. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and just burn it. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> burn Premonition. There's working the hunch on top. Let's see what we seal. How good is Zoe no test? It's, it's so good. Sealing the minus three. That's irrelevant. We seal it. It's just the next test, right? Yeah, the next test. Yeah, you're right. That's still really useful information. The first action, let's miss this deep man. It's going to be a 3 plus 4, so a 7 to 4. So I'm currently 3 up, so I'll go ahead and resolve this minus 3 from premonition. He exhausted. Move here. It goes back to the water. back to the open water. I'll take one on Warren Rice with a free flip and one on Norman. Old Storm and Norman. I'm taking the brain. Uh, second action. Move to the bridge. Nick asked him, what's the point of victory points? I assume they wouldn't matter in a standalone scenario. So we're playing a campaign. We're playing a return to Dunwich. And you can always add side scenarios like this in the middle of your campaign. And victory points that you score, you gain those. And that's how you actually upgrade and change your deck. Third action, here comes the kit. We're dusting. Slam dunk from half court right here. MJ style, space jam. Four to seven. Up. Uh, let's see, four to seven, three up. There's currently one minus four in the bag. And a minus four, ready your location or exhaust a deep one enemy. Hmm. That could be fun. Hmm. He's going downtown. Going downtown. I'm going fishing. I'll go ahead and drop a plus one in. So I'm currently four up. Got it. Swooshered. Boom. One experience. Norman. It ain't easy being green. All right, mine? Yep. 
I could technically restart the engine down, to get another down, tentacle like in there. Sugar, we're going down, swinging. All right, uh, I'm going to go with Zoe. I'm going to use the Enchanted Blade. I'm not going to spend a charge. Uh, if you succeed, you can choose to spend a charge. That's so much better than the other one. Yeah, I did that awesome. Well, three three XP better. Enchanted Blade. All right, here we go. Six to three. It scores. Nicely done. Destroyer from the depths is destroyed. Who's, who's destroying now? That's right. And then I'll play a guard dog for three. And then I'm going to move into the cargo room. Dude, you're about to have like... It's a hack fest. You're about man. to have a like, Gandalf moment with this creature of the deep. None <laughs> shall pass. You shall not Fly to the lifeboat. <laughs> Fly, you fools. You fools. All right. Uh, end of round. That was pretty painless. Enemies, none, none to speak of. Uh, money and card. Ooh, it's time to stargaze. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. Ready everything? Everything ready. Uh, then doom on. So it's gonna clear sink the doom, one. and we'll sink one. Am I gonna? I should just think, sink that library just to make a point. Yep. Go ahead. Now the only thing is, it doesn't it, matter if it's sank. Well, here's the thing. What's the thing? If there was a way, if, for instance, things go really sideways, I can sneak in here, grab the last two clues, move somewhere that kills me at the enemy phase, like move into an enemy, if like the, the big guy's up here, take the damage, die, my clues scatter onto this location, this is technically cleared whenever I die, which means we would get the five experience, but I would take trauma. Now that assumes you're dead as well. That's not going to happen. Although, actually, if you're not alive, I could do this. With two clues? You got two clues? I can get two clues, yeah. I think this might count for however many started. Mm. Not, not active. Well, I can get two more. I wish I had one more. I, I can try to get a fourth. We'll see. You should start putting those but, brain cards but, in your deck. But it doesn't matter if it's exhausted or not. Right, right. That's what's it. For now, it doesn't. It's just the boat sinking. But this, the skull could get bad for us. All right, bad cards. Cultus of the Deep. Zach Spawn did not trigger the blade. Nearest location with an attached creative goods. Uh, one, two, three, four. This one. Ooh, I can go engage that thing and get rid of this dumb. It counts call. counts as exhausted too. The location does okay. while he's there. And if everything's exhausted, do we lose when it flips? Yeah. Okay. Huh. All right, my bad card. Your bad card indeed. The lassophobia. What's it do? Fail. Uh, it's a two brain test. For every point you fail by, you take a horror. It's plus two if you're at an exhausted location. Now, if you want to take horror here. I don't. Well, if you wanted to die to get that experience. It isn't deep one, you're right. Okay. So I, I won't even have to do that. Uh, no, that's, that's our long term plan. You would have to really start getting wrecked, which is very possible. I also got that dynamite. Don't sleep on it. Minus three. So four minus three is a one to a two test. So I'll take one hora. Done. The ocean's getting to me. It's too much. And then uh, you want me to draw one for yep. the Give me the token. Guy? We got a hit eventually. But I kind of want this one so I can try, try to take some stabbies. You got it. Ah, oh, yes. Let's go, Colossal Servant. <laughs> <laughs> You're mine now. And then we got our turns. So, um, Wheel of such and such, turn, turn, turn. Are there any victory points that we need to claim on the board? We've got one, two, three so far. You've got dynamite in the pipes. No other victory points. There could be victory points in open water, but that would be very confusing to me, to all of us. We'd all be very confused. Uh, Mr. Rook is here, technically. Not, it's not going to matter. Not he concerned. also has one and one damage on him, but we don't care. I'm just buying time. So I need to just go get to the, the boat. Get to the chopper. Yeah. yeah but move. I don't want to go through the cultist. You can evade him with your miss, right? I'm not going to waste it on that. I've only got two charges left. Nope. OK. Mm -hmm. I'm going to end up back in the library and stargaze. I'll go to the sun deck, stargaze, and then go to the library. And then I'll go, I'll have to go move, move. How do we get down to the cargo room? 
Uh, galley? You go dining, galley, engine, cargo. No so way. Staircase. Really? Yeah. Ugh. You gotta get to moving, dude. Gross. Cause we gotta clear this for two points. I can go from open water to the cargo room. It's worthwhile. Well, I don't want to. I don't necessarily want to waste the evade here. Cultist. So that would be move, evade to the galley. Can I go oh, from dining room to the dining it's room? Exact. And then to the galley. Yeah. And this so that would save me a turn. In the water. That would save me a turn. Is that worth it? That's worth it, right? Is that worth it? I think it's worth it because you have one charge left to evade the colossal servant. If I can't get her done. Okay. Then okay, fine. I'll do it like that. I'll do it like that. <laughs> do you want to see if things go really bad for you first? Let's see how how bad things go for you. The worst they're gonna go for me is two damage and two damage, and I'm fine to handle that. Okay. First action move. Mm -hmm. Call to the deep engages me. Second action miss. Currently a four, five, six, seven to his stat of three. It's a four. Tentacle. Auto fail. I'm gonna I'm gonna time warp that. Yep, that's the one to do. Four on one. <laughs> I just gotta put that. Unfortunately, <laughs> gotta put that back in there. Ah, ah! You got it again. You need to shuffle that uh, back better. Second one. Cool. Uh, do I have to evade this? No. Okay. So what you're saying is uh, maybe I try it the third time. I guess is the only thing that happens here. Yeah. I guess I'll try it a third time. <laughs> it's gonna get sketchy if I get that big monster. I'm doomed. Doesn't have alert. <laughs> Tentacle. I am inevitable. <laughs> Superstar. Ah, well. Let's see if there's any fast action I can play. That would matter. Whoop. Hmm. It's not going to matter. So I did move, evade, fail. Let's rewind, evade, fail. So then third action is this, and I'll get a move. And so it won't matter. So that's all good. I'll take the move. Go to some fine dining. Cultus of the Deep will be sitting there. And bag goes back in. Mist stays out. And uh, we're done. Okay, my turn. Norman did his best. I'm gonna use my enchanted blade. Uh, we have six to five. It's because I'm stargazing, KH. And I'll put um, I had a stargazing. If I didn't one fail in. that test, he is so annoying. Yeah. Seven to five, uh, seven to five, seven to five. Here we go, here we go. Enchanted Blade. Mm -hmm. It's so much better. Does it have to exhaust to enchant itself? Nope. Just spin a charge? Yep. Wow. Got it. Spin Nailed a charge. It. Make it two. Heal a horror? No, you have to defeat it to do that. Oh. That would be real good. All right, we're going to do it again. We're going to add one. Wow. Going for it. Start slashing, man. Slap, slap. Nailed it. Yep. We'll spend a charge. Whoo! So anyways. Man, yeah, you got that witch blade. Yeah. Let's try it again. We'll just go six to five on this one. Wow. This is, I mean. Why not? I'm fine. Right? Why not? Oh, wait. wait. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. <laughs> Technically, it would still fail you the test, but you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, he got it. Use the token. Oh Doing my two. goodness. Six out of 14. Here we go. All right. Uh, end of the round. Enemies do what enemies do. So I'm going to take this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go one and one on the physical. 
So guard dog is going to trigger for a free damage. Uh, I'm just going to use that. I can use a die on that guy. I'm going to do seven on him. Can they? They can't even see it. Let's move him up. <clears throat> seven ding, on. Ding. Seven and 14. Hey. And then he hits me. So, and I need to take a, uh, one of these. So it was... Two, two sanity, so you, you're owed one more sanity. Yeah. yeah. And Ugh. then, it's fine. And then my survival knife will trigger. So now I'm at uh, four, five, six, two is five, and we'll go ahead and add two, making it eight to five. Very nice. Did you just ditch that small favor? It, it I can't, think you're going to hit him. That. Oh, is it elite? It hits. We'll Nicely go two more. Done. Now is it nine or 14? Yeah, it's like a freaking mail. Yep. <clears throat> Cage McClure is no eating sushi tonight. I agree. We're gonna have that fried fish. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. We going to Long John Silver's. He's got five left, so I'm feeling pretty okay about it. Because I got one for free on the guard dog. Lots of attacks coming and cards in hand that are good. Um, and then now we draw a card to get a stuff, Draw a right? card, gain a resource, yeah. <laughs> oh, my, my. Oh, hex, yeah. Ooh, preposterous sketches. So that's actually interesting. Dude, I'm totally going to ace this guy. Are you? You have no idea how much acing is happening. Okay. It's phenomenal, okay. actually, how much acing this is. There's so much acing. You're going to get tired of <laughs> this much acing. You're going to be exhausted <laughs> with all the acing that's going on in this room. <laughs> all right, gain that, gain a money. Got a preposterous sketches on the top, which is actually somewhat relevant. I could get a reshuffle of the deck if I wanted. Okay, and then we go to the decide if the thing. Oh, the the thing doesn't bad, do bad this, cards, right? Bad cards. Oh, bad cards. Yeah, well, I'm doomed too. Peril taking on water. Don't say it. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm gonna exhaust this location. I have to exhaust the location. Okay. Lights out, plus two. Cannot play assets after it's successfully discard lights out. Doesn't matter. So the lights are turning out. The boat is sinking. There's a big monster near the lifeboat, and we've got action. Now, does he go back? He's he's just staying. Does he still do this every time? Forced, if there are no investigators, he goes back. He still does that, but then he moves to the location with the most investigators, which is still the same. I can leave yeah. him there. Yeah, move to the location with the most investigators. Well, let's just see what happens. So technically, I could move him Follow to the rules. I don't want Doesn't to. matter. All, All right. right, he'll move. He will uh, move to you. Okay, let me go first. See if I can ace this cat. All right. I mean, you have to move down to me anyway. You got dynamite blast too, right? You can't quite afford not, it. That's huh? not my plan. Okay. Ready? Yeah. So my the only thing I'm going to do is get close to you. I need to get through to the lifeboat. I mean, you're going to get down to me, but he's going to be gone. Oh, well. <laughs> well, let's see if that's true, huh? Uh, I'm just calling on my Lord and Savior. Uh, Lord and Savior is always cross. Cthulhu. God has spoken. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm just doing his work. All right, you ready? Yeah. First thing I'm going to do is first action, we're going to play Spectral Razor. Mm. Mm. So I'm testing an 8 to a 5, and if it hits, it does 2 damage. Yeah. Minus four. Failed. Failed. Now the game has changed. It's fine. Let's do it again. Oof. And I'm gonna Yikes. toss I'm gonna toss in one on this one. So it's nine to does five. Does he ever retaliate? No, he does not. Nine to five. Nine to five. That's what we needed last time. <gasps> That's extra damage, right? Plus two? So you do three damage total? Is, that's an attack, right? Mm-hmm. So I do. I hit for three. Absolutely. So it goes up to 12. And I have one action left. Yes. <laughs> that's a survival knife for the, for the oh, kill. Oh, yeah, man. dude. You know uh, enchanted is. blade for plus two. So it's six to five. Actually, Let's yeah, see if you blade it. and guard dog it, it's over. Uh, put that star back in, would you? Yep, don't mind me. Wow, this is hilarious. It's pretty amazing. 
Plus one. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Plus one, 13. And that was, that was my, that's the end of my turn. So Survival Knife's going to have to get it. Or next round, I'm just going to move and do it automatically. Actually, Guard Dog's going to get it on my turn. Guard Dog will get it whenever he attacks <laughs> you, yeah, on the enemy phase, yeah. Get out of here. My gosh, it's over, yes. Cage McClure, finish him. Fatality. Okay. The Lord is with me. So let's see, my turn Legrac, is... I'm the lead investigator, technically. My turn is going to be... Can you believe I'm taking down that Colossal it's Servant? It's amazing, dude. It's amazing. You were built for this moment. <laughs> so I'm going to go... Give me the give me the arrows again. Can we get toothpicks? You can go here, uh -huh. here, here. Uh huh. And I don't want to go here. Yeah, you just go here, so here. I've got take a an free, action. I've got a free thing. Well, I think we know what's going to happen. Do we? First action: stargazing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Talk about a free action. I got you. Dining ten? room, top ten. Yeah, shuffle that one in. Second action, move towards a deep one. Third action, move towards a deep one. And exhaust. Oh, that's interesting. Since I'm the lead, he attacks me first, apparently. And he would die, even if you were there. Oh, before attacking me. Yeah, that's but cool. But here we are. I had to look at the stars. Look at the stars. Yeah. They... <laughs> Just some cool flow. Look how they shine for you. <laughs> deep one. <laughs> Ah, look at the stars and look at this turkey in they the were dining all room. Yellow. Oh, that's a it's a whole hog. They're doing a hog roast there. Got the yep. apple and Good old hog roast. Yep. All right. Norman's been his nose his way around. End of the roast. round. Enemies do the enemy things. Yeah. So start with attacks. Colossal servant hits me. I'm gonna put two damage on the dog and one sanity and one sanity on me. Guard dog will trigger. My guard dog takes it's down the colossal victory servant. Too, man. Score the points. Got five what? the hard what? way. What? Got five the hard way. And then uh, that's the enemy, and he's gone. Thank you, guard dog. Yeah, you did more than enough. It, he's literally chewing on a tentacle in the art. It's Come great. on, okay, it's, you got, it's this built is, for it. The flavor I used, is I out of control. Called on God. The spectral razor came down. Did the damage, the dog finished it off. It almost didn't work, and then that superstar showed up. It's like, no, wait, we're still we're still here. Isn't that crazy? So even even if the superstar fails though, like I also still have the survival knife here. Yeah. So like I have a lot of shots too. at it. You've got yeah. everything ready, yeah. Yep. Okay. So uh, all we gotta do is get on this lifeboat and get we, out of town. We right? get Doom. So this clears and we mm -hmm. exhaust another location. This has to be the lowest. Dining room, yeah. And then we get bad cards? We get bad cards. Swept away. Attack swept away the current agenda. Limit one per agenda. Has it cost to enter an exhausted location? Test three foot. If you fail, either discard three resources or discard a story, a non-story item asset you control. I've got money to burn. Oh my gosh, the stars are right. You wanna you, you get closer. So, so what you you're saying is I absolutely know where this lifeboat is by triangulating across, uh, you know, Orion's, etc. I'm ran, I've run out of all of my constellation knowledge. Choose an investigator. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Take an immediate action. It's going to be me. Oh, and technically, money and cards. I forgot to do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's important. And one money. Okay. Then stars are right. Gain a money. Gain a card. Split the angle is the last thing. And then I get a free action. So I'll go ahead and move to you as my free action in the cargo room. Mm -hmm. To do that, I've got to pass a three foot test. Or even see swept away. If, if you I fail. fail. So there's still bad effects that could come from this. So Norman is not passing this foot test. <laughs> Jeremy says so TC stands for Team Clutch. Minus two, so I'll fail, so I'll pay three money, pay off the money for away. Yeah. And now I'm there with you in the cargo room. And then we go to the investigator phase. You're up, man. The deep one doesn't do anything, because it's dead. He dead. He dead. Woo! All right, so now it's just about going to the boat and get it done. Now, there's two victory here. Yeah, we got we got to get all that victory up there. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's pretty easy. First action, Norman's going to move. Second action. Do you have any cards that would get you free clues in a way that doesn't involve enemies? Scene of the crime? It's I, it's gone. It's all They're all out, both yeah. of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me make sure. Uh, second action, let's fingerprint kit. See if there's who's been on this lifeboat. 
What's the uh, shroud for? Four to five, six, seven. So we'll make it an eight. Eight to four, so all of the symbols will work. All the symbols work, except one of them. That one works. So pass, gain two clues. Yep. One action left. One action left. That's a good question. Is it time to play split the angle? Surely not, right? Surely not. It actually might. It actually might be somewhat relevant. What happens this. when you run out of deck? I take a sanity and I reshuffle. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, you know. Sure. Let's split the angle. Norman's going to get oh, weird. Yeah. This guy, you exhausted him, but then he moves. He's like chasing us. Is that somewhere else? At the start of the enemy phase, discard each cultist in the same as the deep one. Then move each unengaged cultist one. OK, cool. Thank you. So split the angle, play in that thing. And then I'll reshuffle the deck, take a sanity. My action? Yeah. Let's move into the boat. Let's, uh, do I even investigate? Nope. I have no way. <laughs> There's, it's just failing these symbols and getting making things worse. Yeah, uh, well, let's gain two money in case I get something that lets me get clues. End of the round. Enemies do their thing. He's going to move. Zoe's Ooh, char premonition. charging nice. up for this cultist of the deep. Uh, Dumon, card and resource. Card and a resource. I got two cards left, and one of these is that weakness that gives me a sanity damage. Okay. So we don't want to draw that one. We can get out of here this turn. Okay. Yeah. I hope that's accurate. It's 100% accurate. All right. Um, then we get bad cards. Sealed doors. Fine. The lifeboat is <laughs> sealed. The lifeboat is a sealed door on it. That's terrifying. Uh-oh. Order enforcer. This one's for you. It won't matter. I think we can get out of here entirely. Wait, he engages with you, though, right? He does, yes. You're right. Just straight up. You'll, you'll be taking him shortly. Yep. Uh, and then what do we do? Find and complete the objective on lifeboat. And lifeboat, no ready enemies. Each investigator, may, we can spend a four to get out we of here. Okay, that can happen at any time. As long as you clear it, we're fine. So okay. I think I go first, I engage the enemy, and I take it off the 100%, board. that's right. All right, engage the enemy. Use the cross to do a damage for free. I'll use my blade. <laughs> Sorry, that's hilarious, that's right. I got time to play split the angle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, to Elvis says, even split the angle, shocked that it got played. Uh, so... Uh, first action was engaged. Second action, I'm going to use my Enchanted Blade. It's got plus two, so six to three. And I get it, and he's gone. And the third action, I'll gain him money. All now, right. I do have a plus two to contribute to the test if you ever need it. Let's start with Premonition. <laughs> Premonition's discarded. Let's see what the token will be. We got a zero coming up. So first action, fingerprint kit, resolve the zero for two clues. Working a hunch, working a hunch oh for two my more my. clues. Oh my my, we are draining this lifeboat. Let's get out of here, man. And we're out. Yeah. Cruising. <laughs> <laughs> Scored it. Resolution one. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Literally, top card of my deck is Smite the Wicked, and then the other one is Scene of the Crime. Nice. So you did have a Scene of the Crime yeah. in there. I could have given you a little search. All right. That was awesome. Wow. What's Super Resolution exciting. 1? What's, what's the resolution? Let's hear this thing. All right. Resolution 1. your pile one. of clues in your board. I know, right? This looks good. This board looks great. I'm I can't happy. believe I killed that I'm so thing. happy with this board. Dude, everybody was <laughs> star performances all, all <laughs> over the place today. Star performances. All right. That's fantastic. Do not read until the end of the scenario. Resolution one. You work the oars of the lifeboat furiously, Zoe, pushing yourself beyond endurance in the vain hope that you might escape the clutches of the horrific creatures that have overtaken the constellation. Let's just take a second to really appreciate 
the fact that, first of all, there were six clues on the lifeboat, which, what was hiding there? I mean, I don't, I would love to know. So much was, information. That's as many clues as there is in a library. That's crazy. Were there books stowed away or something? It's just like slime. Maybe the cultists had a plan to get the, all their stuff on the lifeboat. So it's like all their gear and their backpacks yeah. and stuff. And it's like, ah, now we're that's smart. Uh, so I feel like Norm exhausted, used all these myths of Riley, was drawn to the deep ones with the call, made it to the lifeboat as you slaughtered that thing and it sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Exhausted, slumps into the lifeboat, and you start oaring. I think that's exactly how this goes. <laughs> well, and yeah. if, you start, if you tell You're the whole like story, You're bloody right, and tentacly like, and gross. <laughs> we get trapped in the cargo room with a guard. We convince him that he's dumb. And then <laughs> we go to the engine room. We realize the boat's not going, and we're going to need the boat to be going. It seems like it's important. So then we deal with the engine room and the boiler room. And then once, kind we're, of poking around. once we're dealing with that, we have this, this singers, yeah, sea yeah. song, the singers. Sea, the seals, the sea song singer seals. The seal singers. <laughs> And then Zoe just cruises around the boat looking for stuff. Mm -hmm. And I identify all the crates. Finds plenty of things to kill. Yes. Along the way, I'm just going and taking out. It's like a Captain America. You haven't seen that movie. I think you drew every enemy. I, I drew, I drew I went, none. I drew like one enemy. That's very fortunate. Yeah. Because we separated for a minute. A, a uh, while. And I ran around. And then you come and you sweep up and you're collecting these clues, right? And then you want to spend time in the library. But I'm saying, hey, I really wanted Norman, to. we got to go. I really wanted to. And then... Uh, we we found the tablet first thing. It's just that's like well, it's because after we're stargazing, so you know the stars yeah. told us where to go. Then we go clean up some points. I'm down here finding the boat, and I'm like, hey, I'll go clear the way. You just figure out what we need to do. I like that you yelled up to me on the sun deck. Hey, <laughs> boat's down here. We got it. Can you please get some clues along the way? We want some experience. Okay, so you're you're or in the boat. Um, whether by fortune, providence, or some mysterious power, the stars, your cross, you know, same same thing in in Mormon's book. No foul monster finds its way aboard to end your flight. The tablet in your possession glows with mysterious colors reflecting the lights of the northern sky ahead. Maybe that's why I was so fortunate. Uh, astonishingly, you watch as the deep ones crawl back into the ocean as the constellation recedes behind you. The ritual seemingly aborted. A horn sounds ahead through the fog, breaking your reverie. Rescue has come. In your campaign line, record that. The ritual at sea was halted. I'll do that in a second. <laughs> in your campaign, record the constellation was saved, earned victory points equal to victory X, which is seven, seven. and proceed to additional rewards. Page we get 11. additional rewards? Additional rewards. Add a plus one token to your campaign bag for the remainder of the campaign. Wow. All if right. The constellation was saved, proceed to trust earned. And we are about to proceed to trust her. And you want to get a plus one in the bag? Yeah. Before we forget? Let me go grab my bag of, bag of tokens. I think I've got some in here. Oh, okay. In fact, I'm certain that I have a plus one in here. We're going to have to just remember. Actually, we'll just remember to add it because we're going to have to redo the bag. Yeah. Back to the plus one. Okay. Trust earned. So what does this mean? When you make it back to shore, you're greeted by an older gentleman with a familiar name. Lagrasse, he says, offering his hand. You did well to save the ship. Since I've learned of the existence of such things, I've dedicated my retirement to trying to keep dangerous relics out of the hands of people like these cultists. But they will go to seemingly any lengths to grasp at horrible power. I thought I could safely transport these relics in secret across the sea, but I was terribly wrong. Thank you for your help. I'll be in touch. Any one investigator may add Inspector Lagrasse to the deck. This does not count toward the investigator's deck size. Oh my gosh, this is so good for you. Let's see him. You have one additional accessory slot, so you can have both your necklaces, and one additional hand slot for relics only. I believe your enchanted blade is a relic. Oh my goodness, this is a dream. And then it says, after a cultist enemy enters play at your location, or is defeated at your location, exhaust, discover a clue, or gain to your resources. That's fantastic. It's a Zoe card. Oh my god. And gosh. for this campaign, you the are cultists built are for everywhere. It. Yeah. Wow. You're built for it. That's fantastic. Well, he's going and in. And you got calling in favors. That's he's just so incredible. Good. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> ah! Yeah, Chad's freaking out at this. This is hilarious. How cool a side, a side scenario gets to add something so meaningful to the rest of the campaign. Look at those icons, too. That's incredible. Yeah, and you can always ditch him for anything you need. Awesome, Cause, man. Because he bounces back with the calling in favors if he's the one I'm bouncing. It's, it's really good. Oh, so good. Let's look at the other crates. Or like bouncing into him as your permanent. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there was an abyssal sword. Check this out. 
We could have found this earlier. Choose and investigate your location, take control of it. You get plus one will stat. Fight with plus one and plus one. If a thing is revealed, deal a two additional damage. So the sword would have been good against the, the monster. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. I imagine you're supposed to find the sword and then go hacking. But survival knife. Oh my gosh, look at this ring of the deep. Okay, investigate with the lowest willpower at your location takes control of it. You get minus one willpower and minus one sanity. Two actions. Discard cards from your hand with a total of at least three to remove Ring of the Deep. So it's just a cursed ring. Yep. It just makes you worse. Wow. So one one offensive weapon, one worse thing, and, then and there was the tablet we needed. And then there was two other things that randomly we didn't have in this game. So every time you play it, we might see things that we haven't seen on the item front. Oh, there's other items. There's two other that are out of play nice. right now. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they do. That's amazing. Woo! Let's look. Let's zoom out. Hey, guys. Man. That was something else. I got a card on my face. People are apparently saying Lagrasse is mentioned in Dunwich a lot, but not, not in it as really? well. Really? So that's interesting. So we get to bring Lagrasse into our campaign. Hey, Mrs. Busters, that was an excellent experience. That was excellent. If you told me that was a standard Arkham scenario, I'd say it's one of the best. It. I'd say I would it's totally one of the best. Yeah. That was awesome. We got very fortunate at, at that one. Um, so we went on a horrifying train ride, and then we were taking a break on the cruise, and this was not a break. But it turned out as just us netting seven experience in Lagrasse and a plus one for the remainder of the campaign. That's so good. Dude, we're on cruise control now. Yeah. We're, we're, we're returning split the angle straight to Dunwich. Every game moving forward. LOL. Every single game, split the angle is getting played. Oh, man. So um, now, next up, we go. Oh, if you guys haven't, if you happen to not see, and I know, I know there's probably a lot of you out there. If you happen to not see our last play of Essex County, it was probably one of the most intense and incredible Arkham experience. It's the most intense experience I've had in Arkham. Probably the most incredible gaming experience I've had in recent memory. It was down. It was crazy So town. crazy. Everything that needed to happen did. Odds were very low, like across the last five things that we did, and they all happened to work out, and it was amazing. And I, I was so <coughs> happy. I was happier than I've ever been before. That's not true. But I was very happy. It was it was it was awesome. That was a good way to go into the weekend. This was great. Uh, super, super good design. Like Let's you're have saying, some experience, man. We get to mess with our decks with our experience, and also if, uh, this whole weekend full of Arkham stuff. So be sure you check out Farkham. Yeah. Con. So two thirty coming up. We've got uh, design discussion going on. Uh, Mythos Busters, etc. Uh, I believe. Let me let me double check who's involved in that one. And then you should go watch that. Also, register if you haven't already for the con. It's just helpful for Mythos Busters to know how many people are actually involved. Maybe do this again. Who knows? Uh, so Ian Martin and Nicholas Corey at 2.30 p.m. will be uh, taking the next spot here on the Mythos Busters front. So let's read you a rundown of this here. They're going to host a live stream and field questions from Twitch chat, sharing their experiences designing content for Arkham Horror and beyond. Very relevant considering we just played through a scenario that uh, they were had a hand in designing. So very cool scheduling there too. Smart. You guys did a smart, smart thing there. Okay, let's get this deck out of the way and then let's let's get seven experience going. Seven experience is so much. Also, Lagrasse doesn't count towards your deck size, of course. Oh my my. He's free. You say of course, like I should know. Yeah, well by now you should. I think those are set aside things. Yeah, now we need to go on a plane, right? <laughs> Planes, trains, automobiles. Here's Rook from the Deep. All right, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick, and then yeah, I'm going to edit I'll my deck. I'll lay out my, uh, my stuff. I just shuffled it completely backwards. That was backwards. crazy. Yeah, that was fun, man. I was real nervous I was going to drop that Smite the Wicked. Yeah. yeah. It was farthest away it spawns, right? Yeah. There's no way I was going to get Well, then you just got to go on a Rambo mission. I feel like you had the time to do it. Leroy! <laughs> Anything? I don't. No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. So the things in my life that I'm interested in are... Uh, and Bryce, feel free to pull this up. This is going to this is gonna cover my face, but it'll be helpful for all of you. Um, I, I'll probably just go to the table shot, actually, and this will make it easier. Um, so I'm just going to lay out my deck so everybody can see it here. Premonition doing work. I love that card so much. Also, saw some questions. What do we think about the champions announcements for FFG? I think it's great. 
I mean, you know, it's it's as expected. I think all those heroes had been revealed. Quicksilver is going to be so much fun to play. That's exactly the kind of thing that I would just fall in love with. Quicksilver, right? Yeah, that's him. Weakness doesn't matter. Time warp. Let's zoom in with me here. Yeah, reactivate your Patreon, Retro Daniel, 100%. Working a hunch, split the angle doesn't matter. Crack the case. Premonition. This Norman deck is performing. Norman the performing. Rice, crack the case. Preposterous sketches is probably the first cut. Emergency cash. Stone is also going to be a cut. Tooth might actually get cut. I never want to play it. Never have the time, and I don't feel like I ever need it. Stargazing. We've got Mr. Rook. Unfortunately lost at sea. Could have turned back for him, but of course we did not. He's got a scroll and a handout. He feels like he probably knows what he's doing. Okay. I'm so excited for the Keyforge expansion, Mark. Yeah, they got all that underwater stuff going on. I'm like, I'm about to be in. I'm about to be in the probably one of the best eras of my life in terms of the games that are are producing content right now. Because we've got Innsmouth coming for uh, Arkham, which is water based, sea based stuff, and then we've got the uh, the new faction with the un Unforged. I forget what they call them. Uh, that is also water tide based stuff. It's like, you kidding me? It's a good time to be a sailor. OK. So cards on my short list, obviously. I think I'm going to finally add two water protection and that last cash. Or I could add the jewel of Aureolus. Every time I say that, I think I'm saying something I shouldn't. Um, I would maybe just swap in the jewel for the tooth, because that's fun. I feel like it's nice to be able to draw a card and clear Norm's top of deck so that you can get to a card you might want to play that turn for the discount. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to swap this. Yeah, unfathomable is what it's called. That's right. Yeah, just me, Namor, and Champions, and it's over. Um, Mike Presti, who does the shipping for our company? So we, we pack and ship everything, and we send it through USPS, the United States Postal Service. Jewel is going in for tooth. I feel like I found the jewel in one of those crates, and now it's, it's mine. And then let's drop no stone and a preposterous. No, we'll leave the preposterous in. No, drop a preposterous and a no stone unturned for two water protection. Mm, just getting better all the time, man. You got to admit it's getting better. It's getting better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. Grab some things for flesh and blood. It's great. It's really, really fun. It's a great game. All right. What do you what do you do? Unfortunately, I can't upgrade no stone mark because of Norman. So I grabbed a jewel of Aureolus. I feel like I found it in the crate of supplies. Okay, right? okay. And then two water protection. They also have like tentacles and stuff around them. So I feel like I learned a lot in the library, even though I didn't get the five experience. I learned how to protect myself from the deep ones. I dig it. So I think it makes perfect sense. These decks are popping now. We're we we're are popping. there. I'm going to have more experience than I can have. Level two ward is correct, Scott. Yes, sorry about that, Bryce. Level two ward of protection is what I'm adding. Oh, you know what? You know what? Are you doing agency backup? Well, no. You got the experience for finally, I'm, for once. Well, I'm about to tell you. I'm about to. Here's what I'm about to do. You ready for this? Yeah. You're not. You're not. So I, I will. Get, maybe I'm I get not. a free... Uh, free Legrasse. Neil Tyson. Neil Legrasse Tyson? Something, something. Let's put him in. Can you double charisma? Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Come again? Mm-hmm. Sir? This here? This here, baby. This stream 
not only did I just get water in my eye, but this stream is brought to you by uh, co-sponsoring uh, FarcomCon 2020 is Nalgene, made in the USA. False. False, it's but, a, you know, legally. It's I like the thing. soft bottles. I don't like the hard bottles. The soft ones are lighter, so if you're taking them backpacking, it's better. They also are a little bit more durable because they will simply bend rather than crack. Uh, highly suggested. Food-grade plastic. So Thoth is, is literally thinking what I'm thinking, which is a week from Friday, <laughs> Return to Forgotten Age comes out. That's our next Arkham That's stream. Right. And when that comes out, the two experience survival knife. So you're saying you can go right into it at the start of next scenario. So literally, I can just plan on four XP mm. upgrading my survival knife. So you've got three that you can spend now then yes. if you save them. And I could technically upgrade my other enchanted blade. Oh, now we got, so you're on blades on blades. Blades on blades on blades. Okay, so now, you're like a whirling dervish. In, <laughs> instead of upgrading the enchanted blade, I could also go second charisma. Mm, that's pretty good. You've uh, got a bunch of dudes. Because I got allies in different area codes. They but, do tend to die a lot. If you're going to agency backup, now's a good time to pick up that charisma. But that's where, like, charisma is only going to be worth it when I have a third ally to play. I say, I say go that blade. I and think it's a blade. blade. So yeah. I, I'm going to upgrade Enchanted Blade, and then I'm just going to save my other XP to put Survival Knife in at the start of our next session. So it's a level 3 Enchanted Blade? Yep. Guardian? There's yep. a lot of blades in the database. It's level, so level three, 3 Guardian, Guardian blade. Enchanted Blade. Uh, and it's fantastic, obviously. I just saw it there. It's so good. Not having to commit to use that charge until oh, after man. you're successful. That's what Arkham's all about. And then it, if, if I was using this to defeat enemies, removing that horror and drawing those cards, like that's so good. Yeah. Um, and then I haven't. I got another. Uh, you know, I got Inspector Lagrasse, so that's good. I think this is a. a You're calling in favors is money now. You just, will never fail at calling in it's favors. It's so good at this point. Um, and then I get an upgraded Survival Knife, which is like the bomb, bombest card. That's what the whole deck's built around. It's Survival Knife. And then there was. I found out mid campaign that there's a better one coming. Now we don't have. I don't think we have Survival Knife in the card pops yet. So once that actually officially releases, we'll have that. So we'll have to make sure we have that for next week because we all. Need, I need to see it. I need to see what makes it so good. I'm what about does to tell make you. it so good? I'm about to tell you. It's so unbelievably it's good. It's a level two survival knife, right? Yeah. And level it's coming two. out in Return to Forgotten Age. Now that's something I would actually play through Forgotten Age again on Return to. I, I absolutely It'd be would. super fun. I, I, it's high on my list. Zach's first campaign was Forgotten Age, if you can believe it. And apparently they fixed a ton of the things people didn't like about that. Uh, Yithians? The first time through, I think so. Okay, this is the two XP survival knife. You ready to hear this? Yeah, just tell, tell me a tale. Hold on, let's zoom out for it. Let's give you the full, full right. experience. So it's two XP. It costs two still. It okay. has two physical icons on it. Right. You'll never. Yeah. Maybe. Or toss it. So I won't compared toss to it. one. Yeah. Uh, fight action. You get plus two. Okay. So an extra bonus. Yeah. Yep. Already kind of worth it. There. Reaction. When an enemy attacks you during the enemy phase. Yep. Before resolving that attack. Oh my gosh. Say it ain't so. Exhaust survival knife. Fight the attack targeting, targets the attacking enemy. You get plus two fight and plus one damage for the attack. So you, you get the same effect, but it happens before the damage and not after the damage. Yeah. That is amazing. So in the instances where you're going to take something out, you take it out before you take any damage. And then if you do still take the damage, it's like now your damage gets divided among like your guard dog to fight to fire back. Yeah. Um, but you get that information before you know whether you need that damage or so not. So if you got the cross out, all three health enemies are gone before they attack you, yep. basically. Do one and gone. waste some time, yeah. And is it during the enemy phase that triggers yeah. only? Okay, right? Because otherwise it would be so bustedly good if you could if do you could the attack move of opportunity. Attack of opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it basically just makes Zoe a, a monster where it's like she can take down three health enemies without spending actions to do it is essentially what it ends up being. That's really amazing. Yeah. You got it. This is a real deck. You've done it. <laughs> I mean, this is a good concept. This feels like a lot of the other ones that we've been building that have a really awesome, like, very clear theme that it's trying to do and yeah. actually is starting to do it. And, I mean, I did. I had the theme up front, yeah. which is basically like, no test. I don't want to test. I just want to do direct damage when possible. Um, and as you can tell, like, and when I do test, like, Spectral Razor is an example of a test that I do, but that's such a good test for me. Yeah, it's incredible. Like, when you're at eight with her four intellect and four fight, like, that's built for her in this moment. Um, and it's that free engage, too. Sleep on yeah. a free engage. It's so good. You leaving Delvin? For now. Yeah. I, I don't I don't have anything. You are, yeah, because you'll swap into anything. the knives. That means we get to delve next scenario, I hope. Yeah, ne that's literally after this, whatever experience we gain this next round. We have four campaigns or four scenarios left. So that's about one more is when about the time delve probably doesn't make any more sense. Yeah. But delve's so good with Zoe because I can just murder things. That's right. 
We like, could have delved on that lifeboat this this round if you'd have had it. Absolutely, but yeah. it was like the first card I discarded. It would have been very thematic. So, yeah, unfortunately, it would have been, and it wasn't, because um, <laughs> we missed. But um, that got discarded really. This early. is definitely a card. Like other cards, I'm looking to get into this deck. Um, are also we will put the, yeah we will put these decks so what, on uh, Arkham DB. So what we did actually a couple of days ago, we built a Team Covenant account on Arkham DB and Marvel Champions. And I have a uh, task basically to get all of our decks from these streams posted through that Team Covenant account. So that should happen this week, uh, assuming things go well. And then I think we should upgrade them. The upgrade system always confuses me, so like I, it kind of scares me. But uh, I might try to do iterations of them through the upgrade path thing. But again, it makes me nervous. You know, it's like, ah, yeah. hey, what am I doing? Is it's, this... it's not that bad. I've been doing mine with the upgrade path. Anyways, I, you know, weirdly, we have four scenarios left. The, the only thing that I really want in my deck at this point is the agency backup. Yep. So I'm cool. looking to get five XP next round, swap the delve too deep after next week into an agency backup. And honestly, at that point, you're, 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 um, dude, once you have agency backup as well, you're probably third charisma at that point. Then the next thing is the yeah. charisma. And yeah. then if I happen to get enough experience, then I would go a second agency backup by the end of, end of the campaign. And then the game is over. Yeah. The game is over at that point. All right. Well, hey, we're going to get out of here so you guys can head over and check out Mythos Busters talking about custom scenario design. This is a great uh, thing to talk about because we literally just played a custom scenario that Super they have cool. done. Uh, so hopefully you can bring some lessons that we saw here. There were some new mechanics, some good, some really smart ways of using the game system. Arkham does this so well, taking the game system and really flexing it out to make it feel like different things are happening, like things like exhausting locations to make the boat look like it's sinking. Yeah. That kind of stuff is what it's all about when it comes to scenario design. Um, so before you head out, we got a couple of things. Uh, obviously, if you don't know about our subscriptions, where have you been? Uh, we've had them for a very long time, since the beginning of Arkham. Basically, any type of products for Arkham that you want, we'll send them to you automatically, charge you for them a couple of weeks beforehand, and they just show up on your doorstep. We ship them out early to make sure they get there as close to release date as we can. That means either on release date or the day after. Without in, breaking street day. Without breaking street day. Now, in some USPS is a little weird now, local post office, but especially because of COVID. Sometimes we'll will be a little slower than normal, so unfortunately we can't control it's, for that. It's usually region-based, too. So yeah. like it would be like Tulsa is having delays. Yep. Um, not like the whole system is having delays. So we've got that. If you want to just get your Arkham products automatically, you don't have a store that uh, cares about the game or that's supporting you or adding value for you, then we can do that for you. Um, so check that out on our website. We've also got a ton of Mythos products. That's our line of products uh, compatible with Arkham Horror, the card game. You've seen all of them in play today. Zach was using the Dunwich board. Carcosa. I've got a, uh, yeah, the Carcosa, thank you. I've got this prototype of the Circle Undone inspired board here. It's got like tarot imagery on it, and it looks Coming absolutely soon. phenomenal. Ish. Coming soon, probably a uh, monthish. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Monthish. And uh, I think that's it. Thank that you. Was great. Huge thanks to Mythos Busters. Stick around all weekend. Keep connecting with each other on the Discord, on these live chats. Um, it's just great to be a part of this community and to have so many of you watching us every week. Uh, we'll be back starting every Friday, Freaky Fridays. You can catch us right here starting at 1 p.m. We'll continue to play down the Dunwich campaign, and then we'll move on probably to Circle and Done after that. And we'll take these new boards and run them right through. That's right. We've got Circle and Done, and then I'm wanting to do Return to Forgotten at some point, Dream Eater at some point, Innsmouth at some Innsmith. point. This was super fun. Again, thank you. Shout out to Mythos Busters for sending the scenario, for allowing us to be a part of FarcomCon 2020. Check it out, and to everyone in the Arkham community for being excellent. Uh, it's a, I've, I've been in the Facebook groups since we started playing back in March or April and in the Discord, and you guys are just great. Uh, everyone interacting on chat, super helpful, and I've, I've enjoyed being a part of it. Also, check out the schedule, because Big Stupid Grin also is doing a stream, I think, uh, right now as well. So see what you want to go do, and go check it out. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate you, and uh, you know what? We'll see you next Friday, right? All of you, next Friday. Come on in. Take care.